that taxes and debt, you can't escape them. The two things we can't escape, inflation, consumer report today, the consumer price index, which is a real good gauge of how things are going. Inflation is baked in. Consumer prices rose 3.5% from a year ago in March. A lot more than expected, says CNBC. So what does it tell us? The fear is it's baked in and then the Fed will probably not come June lower interest rates. And the market has gone nuts in a negative way today. But Americans are seeing this. Americans are seeing what Biden did. We've told you how many times about it. So that's one that's baked in. Also, what do they have to go with? Well, of course, abortion. (sighs) My goodness, this is even worse than what they did in Alabama now. This law just smacks of just arcane, backward type of stuff. Uh, Going back 160 years in Arizona. Now Arizona will have abortion on the ballot to bake it in there in Arizona. Carrie Lake, those of you that um, sometimes Dan takes shots at me on this, and I know I'm 100% right in what we've been saying about abortion, the Trump position, and what to do. Carrie Lake uh, is sometimes seen as an outlier, conservatively, pretty far out there. And her position on abortion was what a lot of the pro-life Ron DeSantis position might be. But she has seen the wisdom of this. And last night, Carrie Lake put out a statement that said if she's elected to the Senate from Arizona, she would oppose both federal funding for abortion. That's good. That's where most Americans are. The Democrats have overstepped on that. And she would oppose federal restriction on abortion, meaning a national ban. Lake went on to say that this law is out of step with Arizonans. I'm the only woman and mother in this race. I understand the fear, anxiety, and joy of pregnancy and motherhood. I wholeheartedly agree with President Trump. This is a very personal issue that should be determined by each individual state and her people. I oppose today's ruling. I'm calling on Katie Hobbs and the state legislature to come up with an immediate common sense solution that Arizonans can support. That's exactly right. So what do you say if you're in the camp of these people that won't give it up on this, that you're still more principled or do you get where America is and what it means and what has to be done here, what Trump did and now Carrie Lake making the point, this is way out of step with where America is. And the fact it's so old. In fact, the Times in Arizona. But I'd have to say, this is putting a state that I think was rapidly going to be in the Trump column into a toss up now. That's what's going to happen here. We're seeing this constantly. And you can say, well, we've said what we want to say, and we're not going to talk about it. You see what's going to happen with this. These two things are baked in. Biden can't get away from the two uh, immigration, illegal immigration. Even though we have a guest coming on today from the Border Patrol, Biden might do a pretend executive action in order to try to skate on it. And he certainly can't get away from inflation. He did it. He didn't care about doing it. We went through the whole rationale and Republicans ought to remind people more what Biden did, how he caused this. Here a year later, still 3.5 percent to be slowing. It's got to be 2%, not one month here and there. It's got to be 2% or under, slightly under month after month. That would be normal. This is not normal. It is baked in. It's going to take a different approach to get us out of this. As far as Arizona, this is nuts. I mean, come on. How many people out there listening now are saying no exceptions, Maybe Doug Mastriano, Dan, ought to get a cowboy hat (laughs) and move to Arizona. You know, and I still have people bother me about Mark Halk. No, you got to be kidding me. Well, look at what he suffered. I agree. His story is riveting. I salute him. He's a man of great principle in that. 
That doesn't mean I want him to be the nominee for Congress. You will not win in Bucks County. You will not win in Pennsylvania. You're not going to win in Arizona. Carrie Lake, when you think of the deepest conservatives, when you think of the people saluted by that, what do you say to Carrie Lake? Do you say, oh, I'm off her too. She doesn't get it. She's unprincipled too. All right, one other item. Penridge School District, our buddy Joan Cohen, if she's listening today, used to be a bastion of common sense. Then you had a group, Dan, that took over after Joan that were not conservative, but kind of wild. Remember that the stuff they got involved in. So they got ousted and they bring in a new group now. And this new group now unveils a new bathroom policy. <laughs> when, you see, when you see the headline, you think academically heads of school, the school board. Yeah, we have a new bathroom policy. No, so I mean, well, what's that mean? Well, what they're doing is they're going to incorporate transgendered students. Penridge, extensive report uh, that, that they would be able to use the bathroom of their choice, whatever you identify with. There'll be multi bathroom. I'm, I'm getting lost here in all the plumbing. Multi bathroom, single use bathroom. Some of it same sex, some of it not. You know who the biggest proponents of this are is the plumbing union. It's you know all, oh, all this God, new work yes. coming to them. Come on. I remember when Comcast was built, Dan, the unions are so powerful. <laughs> there, there is apparently in the Comcast building, there are plumbing lines that like are sawdust. Nothing comes out of them, but they had to be put in to satisfy some requirement. And then there's the actual Were plumbing. they future-proofing? Getting ready for gender-neutral <laughs> bathrooms? No, they were just uh, making do so that the unions would let them alone. <laughs> Imagine, okay, you guys can put that in. It won't yeah, just, work. Just go They'll do something it. in the corner. We'll pay yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Nice Comcast here. You wouldn't want something to happen to it. Uh, one board member. Uh, Eagles game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> one board member, of course, used the line. And Dan's trying to get some of these people or one of these people on. Uh, Kaufman, his name is. Chris Kaufman. He acknowledged the challenges faced by transitioning individuals. I've seen the mental health uh, ramifications of having to transition and conceal that from people. Here's the line, Dan. He said. If that policy is helping to save one life, I think that's the end goal. Here we go again. We're saving one life. That's the way that we're going to go. Okay. Uh, by the way, rare special uh, next segment, I guess, right? Or it's up to Dan. Yeah, and whenever you want to do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we got him here in studio. Yeah, yeah, he's got him here in studio. Yeah. Uh, rare in studio guest, Mike Opelka. Yeah. And the guy, Dan, brings sandwiches. And look what else he's brought. You give us the play by play for tomorrow night. Do you think. Uh, Rand Paul and I can drink that tomorrow night, or how, how many servings? Is well, that? you got to open it. We got to see what's in there. Oh, okay. Well, just look at the label. Uh, Colonel. I love calling. Chuck, can I call Rand Paul Colonel tomorrow night? Colonel? It's, it's a Kentucky. Thing. Colonel Paul. Colonel Paul. YouTube.com slash at 1210WPHT. Come look at this. Uh... Yes, it's a Colonel E.H. Taylor small batch. Oh, my God. Bottled in bond. Now, Mike is a. Uh, Professional golfer almost. Nick Kale says he plays <laughs> he plays more golf than uh, pro golfers play. He tells us two times a week. Our spies say five or six. And Danny says his sw his swing to loosen up is lubricated by great bourbon. Oh, yeah? So look at this. Uh, he's a man of his word for tomorrow he night. Says it's true. Now, what at what point in the program, uh, Greg told me we'd be getting a run of the show. What point of the program, Mike, would you say it's appropriate to be taking a slug of brandy with Rand Paul? This program or that program? That program tomorrow night. Uh, inaugural. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tom, we play golf very early in the morning, but swing oil is appropriate. Uh, <laughs> uh, by the way, that you're here. Do you shoot straight when you don't have bourbon? Uh, yeah. yeah. And now that he's here, Dan, he, uh, I don't call it a breakfast ball. I just say, hey, on the first tee, we can't warm up. I don't know. He plays at Plush Country Club. Yeah, Tom's talking about taking mulligans with you. You, you get a everything. mulligan on the first hole. Oh, oh look at this! So we asked Whoa. Mike, uh, "Is a mulligan on the first tee shot cheating?" Uh, on Twitter, we got fifty-six point three percent said yes. They're all non-golfers; they don't understand <laughs> that. They're all—they're all hackers, Dan. See, I need a little bit of time to warm up, and then by that, but it took me two or three holes. I didn't ask for a mulligan when we played over. Mike, Mike what's your honest assessment of Dom's playing abilities? Dom has a remarkably huge drive. And really? He has, yeah, he has a studied short game. 
Yeah, you know, I watched the guy. He's got like a laser focus <laughs> when he's. When, if he's I, I see some daggers coming uh, out of his eyes right now. Under 125 you. yards, Dom's like. Boop, 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 boop. He's got like a bionic eye, and then his putting is really solid. And really he's streaky on putting. If he's that's, st- all, if, that's all pretty true. Yeah. Iron, iron game bad. I really so, I so did this, a lot of work. You know, this whole uh, talking himself up is not a bit at all. He's no, actually a pretty no. solid. Golfer. They went a little bit too far. Nick Kale went a little bit too far. A little <laughs> bit too far at ballot. So yeah, we're gonna play again this year. But yes, Mike, we are. thank you very much. And uh, Mike. Uh, May or may not be there. Come on now. We need a date. I need a date. I got a leaky roof down at the beach and I have to go there tomorrow oh, morning. The second so. home. Oh, come on. Roof. Last come night on. I found out the wife has to work late. So I need yeah. someone to, you know, be my. Well, wait, wait a minute. Can Edmonds get a helicopter over there at Richie Ole and <laughs> fix it uh, See, by the time of tomorrow? I, I need some Zioli help on that. Oh, Edmonds, yeah. Edmonds. Edmonds Roofing, big sponsor here. Yeah. Who else do we have? Who could I? Oh, uh, Johnny and the boys down at Mulligan. So get over there, make it, <laughs> give the guys a drink and make it in time I mean, for the event. Caller of the year, 2023, Earl and Tacconi. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the roofing roofer, expert. The Earl yeah. and Tacconi. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. He's a yeah. roofer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So, Mike's Mike, taking notes over here. Thank anyway. you very much. This is the type of uh, shenanigans, Dan, that will be happening tomorrow night I with wait. Rand Paul. Uh, Mike, what question would you ask Rand Paul? What's the major thing that you want to know from him? I, I would I, I love all the stuff he's done on on all right. of COVID and Fauci right. and all that. I would like to know if he ever thinks he's going to make a run again at the White House. Ooh. 2028. Uh, I, t- I tell you, you know how we'll know? If he's wearing cowboy boots to give him extra height. Because oh. that's what he did in one of the... Uh, <laughs> that's true. Every one of these guys, when they're going to run for president, lose weight, Bill Murphy, the hair... Well, D- fix the teeth to but, that yeah. to that end. The New York Times is accusing Trump of um, being on Ozempic. Oh, and they're saying they they saying it. <laughs> what dem- do you think? It diminishes him. So they yeah. didn't like him when he was overweight. And now yeah. they're mad at him because he's getting skinnier. He does look thinner to me. They're, they're speculating he's on the Ozempic. It's OK for Oprah and Whoopi. But not for Trump. Yeah, I don't see Trump <laughs> running marathons. You know what <laughs> no, I mean? No, so, no. He's yeah. golfing more. He's just golfing more. Yeah. You know? But Murphy, though, when you fix the teeth first before the hair with Miss Kim, come yeah, on. yeah, you're running for president. Hey, I just got a word, guys. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, there's yeah. a new batch of tickets that just opened up for this Rand Paul uh-huh. event tomorrow. Twelfth and WPHT.com. Uh, go get them now because they're flying off the shelves and come see this tomorrow night. Yeah, Sorry. they've opened up uh, 20 more seats. I think Greg Stocker and the yep, boys in yep, the back room. Here, Fire yep. Marshal says that's OK. All right. So. Uh, Go to 1210WPHT.com, 1210WPHT.com. Sorry, back to Mrs. Kim and, uh, you know, Governor Murphy's hair. Yeah. So, and uh, Mike, you brought sandwiches out here too, right? Yeah, Tommy Dinex. It's a Tommy Dinex day. (laughs) All right. Well, Mike, thank you, though, very much. What, how uh, long has this been cured, so to speak? Um, I I think, I'm not sure if that's a 10-year, but it's, uh, Colonel Colonel Taylor is a very nice guy to have at your party. Now, could I ask, I mean, it's past noon, five o'clock somewhere. Is there any way that we can get you guys to, you know, have a little Oh, I'm not having any now. Wait a minute. Come on now. Got to save it for tomorrow night. Ro has me on a strict (laughs) bourbon limit here. Based upon usually, so she's not going to know how, how many shots. He's like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> how many shots? Odyssey attorney's not. Listening. How many shots would you take, Mike? Before you would say that's enough. I'd uh, probably two. I'm a okay, sipper. There. I'm a I bourbon you, sipper. I told you, Dan. That's the number yeah. that you said. Yeah, two. Yeah, yeah two. it's uh, it's, it's, it's sipping, especially uh, at this level. Yeah, small batch. Now this one's really is, this, is this on the rocks? Or are we mixing this with something? What? You no, put three, pure, right? neat, neat. Is that three is that... drops of water opens up the bourbon? That's oh, all you do. You get an eye okay. drop. You put three drops of water in. All right, Rand Paul's very particular about this, the bourbon trail and all that. You know, he's usually not a politician type, but when we mentioned bourbon, he well, went know, into it. You can't a... be from Kentucky and not like bourbon. <laughs> he went into a the bourbon. Only thing you're not allowed you know, to divulge is which is your favorite bourbon, because then you make all the other distillers mad at you. See what I mean? Very See, political. It, on this that. is a real American liquor. This is a true American original. Well, Mike, we hope you make it Thank tomorrow you. night. Thank I'll you very much. And the Odyssey Cup standings with Nick Kale are tied, I believe. It's right? two all. It, but <laughs> see, he hasn't played this year. I've already got eight rounds in. <laughs> all right, all right, Mike. Uh, I'm sure he'll get there tomorrow night at some point. Nick Kale is going to introduce us. And Dan, this is quite a gift. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow night. We'll have this, uh, I guess, uh, when we start the show. That's what the, if Rand Paul's yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Phone lines are 855 839 As we said, uh, Dan uh, just told us uh, releasing 20 tickets. 
So uh, the thing to do is go to 1210WPHT.com. We'll see you tomorrow night over at the Zlock Center at about 7. Well, 6.30, the bar opens. Ooh. Nick Kale there. Mike will be there later. <laughs> no, I hope to be that, there right uh, at 6.30. You'll get to opens. meet Dan. You'll see that he's only 6, 7, and 9 tenths tomorrow. Night. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you'll see that Bring I'm your a, measuring tape. <laughs> you'll see that I'm 6, 1 and a quarter. Definitely well, that bring might the measuring be a little tape. bit of over One that goes 40 yards, please. Yeah. One, yeah. All right. Uh, jump on board. Those two developments, Carrie Lake, it's apparent here, she senses where Arizona is. And this is the only thing holding Republicans up, uh, Democrats up. How much is this playing in the suburbs? Well, in Arizona, it's playing really well. It's going to make that a tough state. Uh, Penridge, it's a little bit hard even to follow what they're doing. But essentially, they've gone from a very conservative school board to one now that is opening up the nonsense of uh, transgender bathrooms. They don't like the term biological males either. Well, it's a clinical term. I think it should be used. Uh, 855-839-1210. Jump in now on Talk Radio 1210. Tyler from Wendy's here. The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull-apart is every part. Unlike mornings, which have no good parts until now. Because with Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull-apart, mornings finally don't completely suck. And now that mornings have warm cinnamon sugar rolled dough and ooey gooey frosting, are they the best part of every day? Probably not, but you get the idea. Get to Wendy's today and get the best part in every bite with the new Cinnabon Pull Apart. At participating U.S. Wendy's, Cinnabon is a registered trademark of Cinnabon Franchise or SPD LLC. It's Temple Owls coach Adam Fisher. Join me and the rest of the Big Five coaches as we honor Fran and Reed Dunphy and Phil and Judy Martelli at the American Cancer Society's 20th anniversary Coaches vs. Cancer Basketball Gala, Saturday, April 13th at the Bellevue. Join the who's who of the Philly basketball community to celebrate. It's the 20th anniversary of Coaches vs. Cancer Basketball Gala presented by Independence Blue Cross, Saturday, April 13th. Go to phillycvc.org. That's phillycvc.org. Hey, it's Rich Zioli. This spring is your chance to get the perfect smile from my friend, my dentist, Dr. Mike Venaria at Venaria Dental. Dr. Mike is the master of implant dentistry. I've been telling you about Dr. Mike for years. My entire family goes to Dr. Venaria because the level of care and commitment to dental excellence that Dr. Mike and his team delivers to every patient is unmatched. He's been delivering results that surpass expectations, and that has made him a top dentist in New Jersey for 10 consecutive years. He is one of the most respected reputations among his peers as a master of dental implants. So if you've been on the fence about getting that dental procedure done, reach out to Dr. Mike today. You have a choice, a clear choice for you and your family. So give Dr. Venaria a call. I promise you won't be disappointed. With two locations to serve you in Cinnaminson and Woodbury right over the bridge, schedule your free implant consultation today for your perfect smile. Call 856-786-2020 or VenariaDental.com, V-A-N-A-R-I-A, VenariaDental.com. Hey, I got a question for you. You hate bending over to put on your shoes. Wish you could just put them on standing or sitting without ever having to touch them. If so, then I have the shoe for you. Introducing new hands-free Skechers Slip-Ins. With new Skechers Slip-Ins, you just step in and off you go. You don't even need to lace up. So how do Skechers Slip-Ins work? Well, there's a special smooth comfort pillow in the heel that helps your foot slide right into place. So just step in them and go. Find new hands-free Skechers Slip-Ins for the whole family at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. Doors take us to summers away or winter adventures and afternoon getaways. Your dedicated Fidelity Advisor can help you open those doors by working with you on a comprehensive plan to help you reach your wealth's full potential because doors were meant to be opened. Visit fidelity.com slash wealth. Investment minimum supply. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC, member NYSE SIPC. Yo, 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 Roy is Ford. What? We know your favorite station is 1210 WPHD. All right, Tom Giordano Show. Welcome in. Hope to uh, see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Rand Paul, again, making news. Uh, we'll play some of it today. Uh, the 15 government agencies that covered up the origin of the virus. So this is ongoing. This isn't over yet. And it needs to be publicized more. Plus, we'll talk with him about everything else that's out there, including bourbon. 
All right, side question today, National Siblings Day. So hit us with your all-time siblings. Dan, I'm going to take the uh, Kennedys off because that's an obvious answer, even though they fade it a good bit. Yeah. I always take off, if this comes up, Cain and Abel. All right. Oh, I thought you were going with the, okay. Yeah, for obvious reasons. I'm going to go similar, yeah. And it could be fictional, too. So I'm going to take Super Mario Brothers off. All right, I like it. Yeah, I thought you were going to say Kane and Undertaker, so oh, that's, no. that's what I'll take off. <laughs> okay. Of. Yeah. Um, I'll also take off the Manning brothers with their annoying uh, of Manning course, cast. I left that it's now, oh it's now spreading to other sports with the yes. uh, college basketball, women's college basketball, Sue Bird and Megan Rapino. I did go back and watch some of that. Oh. I mean, uh, Eli Manning is only a passable quarterback, not a Hall of Famer, and Peyton Manning is a borderline Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll yeah. also take off the Carpenters brother sister duo. Okay. All right, so uh, siblings, brother, sister, brothers, multiple, whatever it might be, that is the side question today. You get in at 855-839-1210 uh, here on Talk Radio 1210. And Penridge is, uh, you know, just amazing where this has gone. The story that bothers me the most today locally it's the Bryn Mawr Film Institute. Dan Rowe and I used to go there pretty regularly. We didn't stop going for any reason. You know, it's a bit of a hike from us. They have a lot of films you wouldn't see anywhere else. You art see films. art house films? Yeah, sure. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of different stuff. But they seem to pride themselves on that, you would think. Guess what? They canceled an Israeli movie during the Israeli Film Festival. Uh, it sparks a protest and now a court order. And the reason they did it, according to the media, anyhow, they're welcome to tell me otherwise, they were afraid of the mob. They were afraid they would just disrupt it. How long are we going to live in fear of those two mobs, the mob with the transgender stuff and then the Gaza mob? How many things can they be allowed to disrupt? And how can the Bryn Mawr Film Institute, which prides itself on things that are provocative, Old time films also. I mean, it is right there on the main line. It's a classic place. They do have the Israeli Film Festival, apparently. And then they start canceling films because of fear of what these people would do. And everybody says, well, what are you going to do, Don? What do you mean, what are you going to do? You mean to say police on the main line and others? You'd be unable to show this film? Well, that's not a good film experience. So we're, we're a place that is not just, it's not an AMC. You know, it's not something like that. It's a um, icon, really, in that subset of movies. They determine they can't show this, apparently, because of the fear of what these people are going to do. How much stuff can they shut down? And I didn't see this in the Inquirer. I saw it in another publication, uh, NBC 10. The Bryn Mawr Film Institute says we don't endorse or oppose any causes. In past years, we have not we have not regarded hosting a screening from the Israeli Film Festival as a political partnership. Uh, however, as the situation in Israel and Gaza has developed, it's become clear that our showing the movie is being widely taken among individuals and institutions as an endorsement of Israel's recent and ongoing actions. This is not a statement we intended to make. My God, the, the cowardice of this. You're just showing a film that had nothing to do with that. They're trying to weasel their way out of this. So in their mind, what they're saying is to the rest of the world, Israel is such a pariah that if you even show these films, which they routinely do, you are part of the problem here. This is what the left does. This is the bullying. This is the nonsense. And they will engage in it again and again and again. They're insatiable when it comes to this stuff. There is no doubt what this is about to me. All righty, 855-839-1210, you get in AT&T and Verizon Wireless. All you have to do is just push pound 1210, and uh, we'll get you on board. Here is um, here is Governor Christy Nome talking about President Trump's position on abortion. 
She's from South Dakota, VP candidate. And as I said, uh, South Dakota, one of the objections to her, they have a pretty, I don't know if they have the six-week ban, they have something like it. Here's what she said, though, about the Arizona law. Well, the president is exactly right. Um, and his thoughts and his heart is with women in crisis that are facing these situations with precious babies. Every state will look different. Uh, we may hold personal beliefs as elected officials. I'm personally pro-life, uh, but every state will look different. And it is about the will of the people. And I've never seen the federal government come in on a tough issue and, and offer a solution and fix it. In fact, the reality of a, of a federal bill passing through the Senate and through the House just isn't there. So why are we talking about it? Uh, people have more of an input and more of a way to frame their state laws and what it looks like in their state with our state legislators who are their neighbors and their businessmen and women. Talk to them and have that conversation. And that's exactly what President Trump was saying. All right. So um, she's moving toward that position, too, even though previously. But Carrie Lake is the star on this. Isn't this telling us something? Isn't it telling us this is all the Democrats have? And at least the smarter Republicans are realizing how to blunt this and not continue to go down the path when this issue you can say, well, why does it? Why does it trump everything else? Why does it trump? We see the inflation story today. It's baked in. The Fed doesn't know what to do. People can't get into housing because of the interest rates. And yet the Fed's scared to death to lower them because inflation is baked in. I know that. You know that. Tell that to these people that are just going to vote on abortion, though. You got to deal with it. That's the battlefield. That's the playing field. Are you going to say, well, we're just going to stick to what we've said and that's it? Now, Trump was out in front on this. They're arguing uh, his position, what he's done, is what caused places like Arizona to cite this uh, 130-year-plus law. And now it will be up on the ballot. Carrie Lake also called upon the legislature, and so did several Republicans, to get at it to fix this law so that the state of Arizona does not have this abortion law. Now you can say, well, look, the pro-life side is winning on this. No, you're not. Not long-term on this. That's not going to hold. You're going to lose the presidency. Well, I don't care about that. Okay, that must be nice. Because if you lose that, none of this other stuff is going to work. You know it deep down. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Richard in Westchester. He's in on talk radio, 1210. Hey, Richard, afternoon. Hi, greetings. I lived in the lower Marion area for 25 years. I'm familiar with the Bryn Mawr Film Institute. Um, at the first time, at the first, and, and it, it's, it's composed mainly of mainline liberals. Uh, at the first sign of resistance from Bryn Mawr and Haverford students, they canceled a, an Israeli film because of, to me, cowardice. They should have never canceled the film. No, I, I, uh, I, I agree with you, particularly, Richard. I am Richard. so disappointed. Ro and I have been but there are, maybe 30 or 40 times. And to your point, though, but they hold themselves out. Ultimate Art Film House, provocative films, great yeah, stuff. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah. But you're right. Uh, but it could be very disruptive. That's true. So you have to determine... Every time they threaten, are you going to kowtow or are you going to say, OK, we're going to have private security and police and we're going to take you out of there? Absolutely. And they're the first ones to get in your face, you know, about abortion, Black Lives Matter and all this. I mean, you know, you drive down Lower Marion Street back during the um, the, the, uh, the, the the Floyd riots and, and there, were, there were black signs, matter, matter signs all over the place there. Well, in, in, I'll give you are... another phony community. In Chestnut Hill, exactly to your point, they put up plywood up and down the block, and then they painted on it Black Lives Matter on the plywood. Break, right. Don't break our windows. Yeah, they're frauds. Right. Talk is cheap, and now they're having, now talk isn't so cheap anymore. And exactly. they're going to have to make a decision going forward. It's very, it's very uh, sad. Yeah. What's your uh, siblings? Who are your siblings? A uh, bad one. Dom and Joe DiMaggio. So I, <laughs> and I'm not very imaginative today. Uh, all right, Dom, Vince. You forgot Vince DiMaggio, too. I think Dom DiMaggio played for the Red Sox. 
So, you know, Dan, I told you that South Philly bar, greatest ball player ever. Guy says Joe DiMaggio. All right, that's bad enough. He's not. Second best, Dom DiMaggio. Yeah. Third best, Vince DiMaggio. Oh, obviously. Yeah, obviously. So, you know, never did that with the Borowskis. Who was the greatest Polish player of all time? Joe Borowski, former Joe... pitcher for the Cubs. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk with Tiffany Justice from Moms for Liberty uh, coming up uh, because uh, they're talking about the weaponization of the federal government against people like their members and like members who show up at school board meetings. That's uh, still going on. But first, let me uh, tell you about my friends at Martin Water to ensure the drinking water in your home is clean and pure. Just do what I did. Trust Martin Water Conditioning. For about 50 years, the Martin family has put their passion for clean water to work for their customers. They are the water experts. My Kinetico system from Martin guarantees that only crystal clear, all natural water flows through my tap. It tastes great, provides peace of mind, knowing it's clean and fresh. And right now it's customer appreciation sale time. Receive up to $500 off when purchasing a Kinetico water system, 18 and 48 month special financing, or 10% off the spot free car rinse system and more. Their knowledge and expertise is unmatched. Just had Dwayne over to the house, low water pressure. Boy, this guy fixed it. It was incredible. As for Dwayne, I tell you, well, all the, we've had three or four guys, but he's, he's really good. You will love their integrity, their dedication to incredible customer service. So visit martinwater.com or call 800-887-7555. The offer expires April 22nd. Offers cannot be combined or applied in prior sales. It's 800-887-7555. Weather is sponsored by American Heritage Credit Union. The forecast will continue to feel more like May, partly to mostly cloudy today with a scattered shower, high 73. Tonight, clouds continue with a stray shower, low 58. And for Thursday, becoming breezy with rain, especially during the afternoon, high near 70. Unlock financial freedom with American Heritage Credit Union. Secure your future with a 13-month IRA certificate at 5% annual percentage yield. Or enjoy flexibility with a 10-month 5% APY. Visit AmericanHeritageCU.org and join today. If you're drowning in IRS debt and can't afford to pay, then you need to take advantage of special IRS tax programs that are available and free yourself from IRS collection efforts once and for all. Due to the financial hardship consumers are facing throughout the country, the Internal Revenue Service has made it easier to settle delinquent tax problems. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Take down this number or store it in your cell phone, but call the Community Tax Helpline at 800-514-1020. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back, or even if you have years of unfiled tax returns, there's no need to fear anymore. But you have to call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-514-1026 for the help that you need. Don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your Social Security check. Call 800-514-1026 for your free consultation and to see if you qualify. That's 800-514-1026. My kitchen is the heart of my home. Dawn Stensland here. If your kitchen or bath is outdated, you need Kitchen Magic. Yeah, they're local in Pennsylvania. They have an experienced team which has transformed more than 60,000 spaces. A dedicated design consultant works with you on your choices for refacing custom cabinets, backsplash counters, and tub shower conversion. Right now, they're offering 12 months, no payments, no interest financing, and 10% off your remodel. Visit kitchenmagic.com. Com. Tell them Dawn sent you. Hey, Philly. Jason Kelsey here. Even though I won't be playing on Sundays anymore, you can still find me at Lincoln Financial Field on Saturday, May 18th for the Eagles Autism Challenge presented by Lincoln Financial Group. This event raises millions of dollars to support autism research and care and gives you the chance to walk, run, or ride your bike beside your favorite Eagles players. Together, we can transform the lives of individuals affected by autism Register today at EaglesAutismChallenge.org, and I'll see you there. Now there's a simple, easy, and effective way to clean your nose and protect your health. It's called Navage. Navage. Available at Navage.com. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Live from the Cherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. 
All right, Dom Giordano Show. Uh, one of our favorite guests are the people who founded Moms for Liberty because they're constantly in the center ring on all these still, things still going on with school boards. Joining us is one of the founders, co-founder, Moms for Liberty, Tiffany Justice here on the Dom Giordano Show. Tiffany, welcome back to Philadelphia. Oh, thanks for having me on. You know we love Philadelphia. We had a summit there last summer, and so just uh, a very special place to us, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Wow, absolutely. And uh, you got the best of Philadelphia and the worst. I just don't know, Tiffany, though, if Moms for Liberty had that drawing power. You only had DeSantis, the president, former president, <laughs> and others in that. I mean, come on now. You guys got to work a little <laughs> bit harder at that. That wasn't that <laughs> impressive. But, uh, Tiffany, uh, back on the issue now, What some things have happened around this weaponization of government. You did uh, a presentation on this, I think, with Heritage. So what's the latest around school boards and your members? And one had the FBI visitor. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about Heritage first. They have a, a project, the Oversight Project. And what they're really trying to do is dig in on the weaponization of the American government against the American people. And so I was really honored to be a part of a all day symposium where we heard from uh, different legislators in Congress. We heard from tech experts, uh, homeland security experts, really talking about how the American government is using uh, the, the different uh, levers that they have in order to undermine uh, really our democracy, our, our country. And so, um, Schools are very important to the left, and that was what I was there to re really talk about. I think it's been surprising to people to see the backlash, right, the, the, how, how much ire parents getting up at school board meetings have drawn from the unions and from the left just for getting up and saying things that, you know, are really easy things to see and know, right? Kids are being indoctrinated. There's a lot of division being sown in the schools. We're seeing that constantly. Parents getting up and talking about concerns about academic achievement. Only a third of kids reading on grade level in America, right? So parents are getting up and speaking. Their mics are getting shut down. The National School Board sent a letter to the Department of Justice. And within five days, five days, Merrick Garland uh, sick the FBI on moms and dads. And so you're right. Uh, after speaking at a school board meeting, one of our moms was contacted by an FBI field office. Uh, and as I'm sure you can imagine, and anyone listening, how incredibly shocking that you're making peanut butter and jelly one day and uh, the FBI calls you and has questions about why you were mad at your school board the night before. Yes. Uh, nothing more than that. I mean, <laughs> you talk about chilling. Uh, for That's why, thank God, Moms for Liberty there is a blanket that can uh, help with this. Uh, some of the things, too, I wanted to know, the banned, so-called banned books thing is out there. Uh, Tiffany, so much that NBC and the AP just ran a story saying that librarians across the board, both school and public libraries, are afraid they're going to be put in jail because of actions like Moms for Liberty and others on these books. And we've come up with a new test of a book that might be iffy. If you go to the local school board, and you start to read it and say it's available in a junior high or middle school or something, and they tell you, you have to shut up, you can't read that in a public meeting, that's a pretty, pretty good barometer. Maybe it shouldn't be in the library there. Is Tiffany there? I know she was on a cell, Dan, so all right. That looks like we lost her. We'll get her back Yeah, we'll get her back in a second. Tiffany Justice, uh, one of the co-founders of Moms for Liberty with us here on Talk Radio 1210. So this is ongoing. This uh, presentation at the Heritage Foundation was very much around and centered in the, the thing that's going on now too is the absentee rate is incredibly high in a lot of schools. So I think I hear Tiffany back with us. Yep, I'm back. Yeah, I'm Tiffany, back. thank you. We can talk you. about yeah. books. We can, we can talk about the absentee rate. I mean, is it shocking to anyone that we close schools for two years in some places, the unions close schools down, and, and is it shocking that the kids got the message that going to school wasn't that important? Why is anyone surprised about that, right? I mean, I feel like we undermined the, the, the respect that anyone should have for the education system by doing that. Yes, and what's happened here, rather than this being the Manhattan Project post-COVID because of all that was lost, it's carrying over and making it lesser than before COVID hit. And in my estimation, here in Philadelphia, what I see 
it's not good. I don't see catch up happening at all in, in many places. Yeah, it's scary. I mean, the truth of the matter is, and if you're a mom or a dad, you know that every year of your child's life matters. Certainly, you know, the difference between five and six and six and seven and seven and eight. Those are important years where a lot of development has happened. And so the idea that we could just take a kindergartner and have them skip first grade or have them skip first and second grade and then try to make up, uh, you know, those years and, and those amount of time, what a huge responsibility and burden to put on teachers. It's an almost an impossible task. Um, and so, you know, I think we need to be honest about that. Schools never should have been closed. Um, and to your point about the library books before, you know, my call dropped, if you can't get up at a public meeting right. and read the book, then it has no place in a public school. If I walked up to your kid on a playground and I showed your child that book and I would be arrested for showing it to them, it doesn't belong in a public school. And I think we just need to be honest about this. This is common sense stuff. Hopefully in, in 2024, 2025, we're going to see a president who you know makes sure that common sense is, is not so rare uh, like it is right now. But uh, yeah, adults are just being silly about a lot of this. You know, teachers, librarians saying they're going to go to jail. Hey, don't show kids porn and you won't go to jail. I think it's very simple. Does Moms for Liberty, um, I'm a little bit unclear. Uh, we have a lot, of course, uh, Tiffany, coming out about abortion. President Trump's statement the other day, I think, was right on. Then we saw Arizona. Uh, when you endorse, when you're involved in that, is that an issue that Moms for Liberty gets involved in? No, we don't. I mean, we're focused on parental rights and education and, and okay. for, first and foremost, a parental rights organization. I mean, my own personal opinion, Dom, I'll share with you. You know, I was uh, I was raised Catholic. Uh, you know, for me, I think America will be a much better place when um, when we're fighting to protect children uh, and, and children. That, and, and so I just think in general, we have we have as a nation, especially during COVID, I think we saw that kids weren't really valued. Uh, they, you know, all of this uh, selfishness from adults and fear was placed on their shoulders to try to keep adults safe. Never in the history of our country have we ever, uh, you know, used children to try to keep adults safe. It's supposed to be adults keeping kids safe. And again, this is another common sense issue. And so, you know, protecting kids is, is first and foremost in, in my mind. And we need to have a, a, a kids first mentality when we, we create policy. Parting question for you today. I'm not sure if we spoke post your 60 Minutes interview, but my uh, take was that uh, you guys had the, the, the first thing everybody ought to recognize. You have the guts to go on 60 Minutes knowing that it's taped, knowing that they just want to come at you, but knowing also if you can withstand that, it gives uh, a lot of um, attention to the ultimate parental rights uh, group in the country which I think is Moms for Liberty. So what, what was it like making that decision to go on? I think it was with Scott Pelley. It was with Scott Pelley, and that was a really easy decision for Tina Deskovich, who's the co-founder of Moms for, of Moms for Liberty and I to make. Um, we say yes to a lot of interviews. Now, I wouldn't go on Joy Reid taped. I said I would go on Joy Reid live, and I did. Um, but it's 60 Minutes. And we really want to try to reach every single person in America that we can reach with our message about the fact that the uh, public education in, in system has become a jobs program that cares more about adults' wants than kids' needs. And so for Tina and for me, uh, we were happy to do it. Uh, was it a fair representation of the interview? Absolutely not. We were on for an hour and a half talking with Scott Pelley, and they actually used up time during the aired interview of me breathing. Uh, so I think they really didn't want. I think they really didn't want to share our message. Uh, but the truth is, I think we held our own. We were proud of the job that we did, and uh, a lot more people know about Moms for Liberty. And hopefully, they check us out. And when they do check us out, they see uh, that we're not silly or stupid or foolish. It wasn't that we were searching for words or answers. Uh, it was that 60 Minutes didn't want it. Didn't like the answers we gave them to the questions. I'm so in complete agreement. We when, when, when you're willing to go into the lion's den, I always admire that, even if it's a, a left group, they're willing to come on. I'm sure you do too and debate you guys or go into talk radio. You got to admire that. That's all that we ask. That's what it's supposed to be about. Where do people go to find Moms for Liberty and uh, chapters and all that? Yeah, go to momsforliberty.org. I want to be really clear. You are not alone. If you are sitting in your house right now or you're in your car and you're listening to the radio and you're hearing me talk about the fact that kids aren't learning to read and that our country is in a dark place where we really need Americans, patriots to step up, go to momsforliberty.org. 
join as a national member. Donate if you can. Join your local chapter. Start a chapter if you don't have one. But it's going to take every single American to fight for the future of our country. Thank you so much. Thanks for what you do. And thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Tom. Tiffany Justice here. And that's right. You are not alone. A line of fish buying her group. Uh, no right turn, left turn in education. People like that uh, are and to be willing to going on 60 minutes. Dan knows he nodded me because I did an interview with Sunday morning. You know, the uh, was it like an the, hour, 20 minutes. Oh, it was unbelievable. And then they the don't marathon. run it. Just let only uh, because yeah. we didn't say wild stuff. Aren't you going to say something? Come on. That was ridiculous. 855-839-1210. You get on board. Jump in. National Siblings Day. Don't let them take all the good ones. Uh, Coming up, it's not just Kensington where the battle's being fought on these so-called harm reduction people. Wait until you hear the chic neighborhood, pretty much, where they're having trouble now. Oh. So not just Kensington. No, it's not quite Radnor. Or Chestnut Hill. Oh, what they would do in Chestnut Hill. No, no, but it's a pretty big, uh, heavy ticket place where they're battling now because of their uh, harm reduction nonsense. Hey, bet the NBA with a no-sweat same-game parlay with FanDuel in partnership with Valley Forge Casino every Thursday with TNT Thursdays. It doesn't matter if you're new to FanDuel, already have an account. You'll get bonus bets back. If your same game parlay doesn't win on any NBA or TNT game, NBA same game parlay. So the perfect way to combine your bets for a chance to score a bigger payday. Boy, Sixers, I think they have two games left. They're looking good. They're going to be tough in the playoffs. So be looking at them when you're taking a look at the NBA. However you want to play, just head to fanduelcom slash Dom to bet the NBA with a no sweat same game parlay with TNT Thursdays. That's FanDuel.com slash Dom, D-O-M. And make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. FanDuel Sportsbook is the official partner of 1210 WPHT. You have to be 21 plus and present in Pennsylvania. Minimum three-leg parlay required. Refund issued is non-withdrawable bonus bets, which expires seven days after receipt. Max refund $5 unless otherwise specified. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem. 1-800-GAMBLER. Stockbrokers love to paint themselves as transparent. But if you are not aware of all the fees taken out of your portfolio, can you really trust your broker? I am Nancy Harding. This is my husband, Robert. We joined Crash Proof in 2018. When Wall Street hides fees, you are being lied to because they're taking part of your money that you didn't know was going to be taken. Transparency is a word that's really batted around a lot and seldom seen. Crashproof makes their transparency obvious by recording the meetings. They're demonstrating we have nothing to hide. All the things that were said become legally binding. Wall Street wouldn't record their meetings. They don't want whatever is said in that office to be legally binding. And so it's a little too dangerous for them to record. Learn why recording financial meetings is the only way to guarantee legally binding transparency for your retirement future at our next event at Springfield Country Club on April 16th, 800-722-9728 or crashproofretirement.com. Hi, everyone. Stephanie here from Emmons. You know, a great way to spring out of those winter blues is by upgrading the favorite place in your home, your bathroom. Emmons will give you an affordable, modest bathroom refresh with synthetic stone surrounds in as little as one day. That's right, one day. And Emmons will include interior design consultations at no cost to you. This is an easy way to spruce up your bathroom without having to break the bank. Call Emmons today at 856 885 6677 or check out our website at callemmons.com. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. 
Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. Ad paid for by AG Marketing Group. Attention timeshare owners. If you need to get rid of your timeshare for any reason, please listen to the following message. Getting out of a timeshare commitment is not easy, and it takes time. But we specialize in helping consumers legally get rid of their expensive timeshares forever. Can't get the vacation dates that work for you? Maybe you felt taken advantage of or forced into the timeshare? Maybe you just can't continue to shoulder those monthly payments any longer. If you need to eliminate your timeshare commitment, then you need to take down this number, 800-866-7061. We will safely and legally get rid of your timeshare payments forever, all with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Don't continue to let your timeshare be a financial burden to you and your loved ones. Call us now at 800-866-7061. The call is free. The consultation is free. Call 800-866-7061. That's 800-866-7061. Again, 800-866-7061. Are you still holding on to that winter weight? Time to shed that fat and get ready for the warmer weather of spring with NJ Diet. For over a decade, they've helped thousands of people lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. That's nearly twice as fast as weight loss injections and without any of those nasty side effects. NJ Diet uses your hair and saliva along with scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements to get you to shed that fat quickly. Then NJ Diet uses your DNA info to help you keep the weight off. You are fully supervised the entire time to make sure you are burning fat and not just losing water. And you even get the doctor's personal email and phone number. Locations in King of Prussia, Cherry Hill and Newark, Delaware, or available from home with live online consultations. Call 855-5NJ-DIET, 855-5NJ-DIET, or schedule your consult today at njdiet.com. Get slimmer before this summer with njdiet.com. Free speech lives here with Rich Zioli. Afternoons 3 to 7. Talk Radio 1210. WPHT. All right, Tom Giordano Show. So we all know about Kensington, right? We all know the so-called harm reduction people. Uh, Sherelle Parker is ready to move on Kensington and the nonsense that's going on there. But now over in Maniunk, I salute the business people there. Maniunk? Maniunk. What? That's right. Wait. Now, Dan, you don't have living memory. Maniunk wasn't a cool place with all those clubs and everything else. Oh, no, wait, wait. Coming out of high school and college, my brother and sister, they co-rented a place out in Maniunk because okay. it was a cool hopping place to be. Hop in, bro. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, you know, that, that, main, that Main yeah. Street was making a turnaround down yeah, there, yeah. and uh, they had those breweries coming in, and yeah, this used, bars. This and used to be an outlier, and they had uh, like a, an aqua place with a submarine hat in there and something. I remember oh, yeah? it was bad, and then it turned to what it now is. So now the harm reduction people are there, and they got a visit from the State Department of Drug and Alcohol Programs. The follow-up on complaints accusing them of using state funds to distribute syringes. Uh, They say that's unfounded. They say they're being harassed essentially by the business people there. Uh, They uh, have a headquarters on Gay Street in Maniunk. And um, it's good to see that Maniunk, I think, is sending a message. You know, you're not going to turn this into Kensington light or something like that. Kensington's going to take a lot to get it back. But you're not going to come into a nice place like Maniunk and engage in this. And the I think the business people seem to be subliminally saying, well, they're drawing more addicts there. They're drawing more people to this. Their argument is, well, what's wrong with that? Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, Manny Unk is one of the really nicer places around clubs, restaurants, all kinds of things, shops that are different. Can I take you inside my world of online beefing with yeah. progressives and liberals on Reddit? Yes. Uh, so this was a topic that was a, a big time. And this kind of brings you into the mindset of liberals, progressives when it comes to these, you know, needle mm. exchange programs. Uh, Person says, it's sad that these these people are addicts, but what stuck out to me was that Kensington homeowner who said that an innocent child who hasn't had a meal watches them give food to these people on the street and it reinforces the idea that they have little or no worth in society. 
person continues saying, I don't have children, but I think this is horrible that kids have to live amongst this every day and see it every day. Most of the people left in the neighborhood could, uh, who could leave probably already left. It's a travesty that we already allow this. Um, and a progressive response saying, I mean, the users aren't in Kensington because they all came together and decided to move there. They're in Kensington because that's where they buy dope. Where exactly would you like them to be moved? And why can't this beautiful country of ours feed the drug users and the children? I respond, this isn't a utopia. If I'm prioritizing one over the other, it's the impoverished child over the drug addict. You could agree with this, correct? No response. All righty. Nicely played. We'll have more on this in Kensington and more on what's going on over in uh, Maniunk. But coming up, we're going to talk with Brandon Judd, president of the National Border Patrol Council. President Biden says, oh, I don't know if I have the power to do anything about the border. All right, we'll see what he thinks about that. We know that he does. In addition to that, Rand Paul, I just rereading last night his book, Deception. Dan, I got to the part, it's extensive, on his dealings with Stephen Colbert. I'll tell you uh, what he says about Colbert in the book, and we have tomorrow night tickets. Go to 1210wpht.com. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief. America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. One in five rely on the Catholic Charities Appeal for help. The fact is, nearly one million times per year, our programs provide assistance to people in need. These are women and children looking for shelter, the homeless looking for a meal, and individuals with special needs looking for opportunity, which is only possible due to the generous donations raised through Catholic Charities Appeal. We can't do this vital work without you. Your gift matters. Go to Catholic catholiccharitiesappeal.org to donate today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. This is Norman Chaikin, also known as Norman the Floorman. You know, I lost my first wife when she fell down a wishing well. Hey, I didn't know they worked. <laughs> Whether you need carpet, LVT, hardwood, tile, or area rugs for your residential or commercial project, we've got you covered. Savings up to 50%, and that ain't chopped liver. Visit us in Bryn Mawr, Conchahokan, or call us at 800-220-RUGS for your home or business, and we'll bring the store to your door. Do you have shoeboxes full of photos? Today only, radio listeners get VIP access to the new Photo Legacy Box. Get your family's photos professionally scanned for as low as $0.07, cents, which is 76% less than what other brands charge. As the world's largest digitizer, you know you can trust Legacy Box to digitize your entire collection of 4x6 photos. Everything from the embarrassing haircut you had in the 90s to photos of your great-grandma's wedding. Visit LegacyBox.com value to get 200 photos scanned starting at just $19.95. Oh, and don't forget, 
Legacy Box also digitizes over 15 other types of analog media, so you can get your favorite memories on VHS or grandpa's film reels from the 40s digitized too. Take advantage of this exclusive offer on the new Photo Legacy Box today and preserve your past for as low as 7 cents. Go to LegacyBox.com slash value. That's LegacyBox.com slash value. Philadelphia's Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, WPHT, HD, WOGL, HD3, Philadelphia. From the Cherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. Always live on the free Odyssey app. It's Dom time now. Dom Giordano. You made a final decision on taking executive order. Uh, in terms of what you want to do at, at the border, that includes the power to shut down the border, as it was suggested. Well, it suggested that. We're examining whether or not I have that power. I would have that power under the legislation when when the border has over five, uh, 500,000 people, 5,000 people a day mm-hmm. trying to cross the border because you can't manage it. Slow it up. There's no, there's no guarantee that I have that power all by myself without legislation. And some have suggested I should just go ahead and try it. And if I get shut down by the court, I get shut down by the court. But we're trying to work that work through that right now. Wait a minute. He's just defying the court to, quote, forgive billions and billions of dollars in student loan debt. But on this, I, I'm a bit iffy about defying the court or seeing what the court might say. Well, we know that you can do this. And we know there are all kinds of ways to do it. And we know that you don't want to do it. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk with the president of the National Border Patrol Council. And then after that, though, Dan, I've been waiting all day. Uh, a new version of Scrabble aims to make the word building game more accessible. In other words, it's inclusive. You don't play for points. Nobody knows who wins or anything else. Oh, <laughs> oh man, we'll get to that. Let's go to Brandon Judd, though, at the border. President, National Border Patrol Council. Brandon, welcome back to Philadelphia. Thank you for joining us today. Good good to be with you. Thank you. Well, Brandon, it's obvious uh, the difference between what Joe Biden might do and what President Trump was doing. He can just take a page from the Trump book. So what was the Trump policy and what gave it teeth? What made it work? Well, so first off, uh, Biden's full of crap. Uh, that, that, that's just plain and simple. <laughs> I, don't, right. I don't mean to be mean, but that, <laughs> yeah. there's there are so many things that he could do, and he doesn't even need an executive order. But let's just let's just talk about the power that they currently have, even outside of an executive order. All he would have to do is search immigration judges to the to the border, search asylum officers officers to the border immediately, immediately, the moment that they are taken into custody. Hear their asylum claim with an immigration judge. That only takes a couple minutes. Um, if if the asylum, uh, if the I'm sorry, if the immigration judge says that they don't have a legitimate claim, they're going to appeal it. Okay, fine. Give them five days to appeal it. Uh, we have the detention space to hold these individuals for five days. They come back, they appeal to right back to the same immigration judge, um, and then they would be deported. That he could do, and that's not even executive order. That's within the DOJ's power right now. Um, but then let's look at executive order, what he could do by executive order. He could challenge Flores. He could challenge the, the, the purpose behind Flores. So Flores was a consent decree, so it's a little bit more difficult to challenge. But when you look at the settlement of that consent decree, what it was all based upon was that children have a right to develop outside of detention facilities. And while most Americans would agree with that, what they do not agree with is that these children then never show up to their court appearances. So all you would have to do is challenge um, the consent decree and say, look, the, the, the purpose of this was this. It's not happening. Therefore, we need to do something different. He could do that. Um, he refuses to do. But then let's talk about the main thing that he could do right now that the Supreme Court has already upheld, and that's remain in Mexico. Everybody exactly. that crosses our border, everybody that crosses our border illegally, they have a right under our current laws. They have a right to claim asylum, and Trump didn't take that that right away. Trump allowed them to claim asylum, but what he did, what what he did that was so effective, he said, "Okay, fine, claim asylum." But you're not going to be in the United States pending um, th- those proceedings. You're going to wait in Mexico. And then once your docket comes up, I'll parole you in. You'll stay in custody. You'll go before an immigration judge. An immigration judge will hear your case. 
We, we know that that's not going to go well, and that's why people stop coming. As long as they know that they're not going to be released into the United States, they're going to stop coming. And that's why I say that, that, dude, he's so full of it, it's not even funny. There are so many authorities that he has, he just refuses to do it. Well, Brendan, uh, you know, I'd like to have you for an hour here because you, you got a sweat, you got a lather here in Philadelphia with it. I can imagine how difficult it is. Have the numbers decreased at all with all this maneuvering? Because that would he wants to paper this over for a while. Are they still surging? No, they're, they're still surging. So when we talk about a decrease in numbers, you know, that's all relative. Uh, the numbers are still four times higher than what they were under Obama, than what they were under Trump. I mean, if you're going to compare them to December of last year, yeah, the numbers have decreased from December of last year. But that's when they were at record, I mean, all-time highs that we've never seen before. But these still 4,000 apprehensions per day, um, you know, getting close to 5,000 apprehensions per day. That is still five times higher than we had ever seen it in any history that since I've been in the Border Patrol or, or the, any history of the border patrol. So, so yeah, the numbers are still way, way higher than what they should be. They're way, way higher than what they can be. Um, and, and it's all driven upon policy. Brandon, a uh, point for you with what you said about those numbers. The one time that I was there in El Paso and went out with border patrol, it was unbelievable. Uh, the job that they do, only five people were apprehended that day. And that's not because they weren't trying. That's because of how they had El Paso at that point in time. Uh, lockdown. It was a few years back. So it's doable. Only five. And that's a pretty big corridor. So when you hear four and 5,000 apprehended, that's just stagger. I mean, the, the little jail they had there might have been able to hold 10 to 12 people. So, uh, you know, what do you do? Well, that, that's the, the and, and that's the problem that we face right now. If, if, if you were to go out on the border with me today, um, we would drive along the border and you just wouldn't see any of us out there. None of, none of our border patrol agents are out there because we're all performing administrative duties. You got to remember that, that the entire Southwest border, 2000 miles of Southwest border on a normal day, we should only have around a thousand apprehensions. Anything over a thousand then overwhelms our resources. We have a thousand apprehensions in the El Paso sector alone, wow. in Tucson sector alone, in the San Diego sector alone. In those sectors alone, we're dealing with a thousand apprehensions, and those sectors only cover around 200 miles of border. So, yeah, you're looking at 2,000 miles of border where we should be having around a thousand apprehensions, whereas we're having a thousand apprehensions mm. in in multiple sectors. So, yeah, you know, you you and I can drive along the border. And we just won't see any of our agents because our agents are doing administrative duties. They're not patrolling we're like talking, they're supposed to be doing. We're talking with uh, Brandon Judd. For listeners, parting question for you. What's your sense, particularly maybe it's Arizona more than the border in Texas, but we're seeing people from both China, from people in Africa and these other countries. I mean, what's driving that or what's their mechanism What's the train that gets them there? These are pretty big numbers. So when I joined the Border Patrol 25 years ago, well, 20, 26 and a half years ago, um, back in 1997, we were dealing with cartels that only operated within Mexico. That, that's it. Mm -hmm. These are now transnational criminal organizations. Ah, okay. They operate throughout the entire world. So they facilitate all of this illegal immigration that we're seeing today, and, and it's all driven upon our policies. So whereas back, in, again, back in 1997, even under the Bush administration, you know, we were dealing with people from Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, you know, mainly from those countries. Now we're dealing with people from 161 countries. Wow. And what's important to know about that is the United Nations only identifies 195 countries. So we're dealing with, uh, with people from 161, and it's not just a trickle. We're dealing with large numbers. Look at the Chinese nationals right now. These are military-aged men that are coming from China. We know that China is our adversary. We know that China wants to overthrow our government. And we're allowing large numbers of military-aged men from China into our country every single day. That's a very scary aspect of border security. Absolutely. Brandon, thank you so much. As you know, hopefully better times are coming in November. And the president, as you said, has every power in the world. You really delineated exactly what could be done. Brandon, thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Brandon Judd, uh, right out of the box today, Dan. No, 
<laughs> just goes right at it. Yes. And I, it. it's obvious the things that, that he could be doing here. And that's what he ought to be asked about versus waiting to the end of this month and sort of pretending to do something and then saying, the courts are holding me up. But if we would just have the House pass the bill we suggested that Trump blocks, the courts would not block us. All right, 855-839-1210, you can get on board. So Scrabble, a new version of Scrabble aims to make the word building game more accessible and more inclusive. Uh, Mattel has unveiled a double-sided board that features both the classic word building game and Scrabble together, a new rendition designed to be accessible for anyone who finds word games intimidating. The new version is advertised as being more team oriented and quicker to play. So, you know, people help each other out. They don't say, all right, Borowski, I'm going to look that up in the dictionary. I don't think that's a word. They help you. Oh, what about doing this? What about doing that? And you all build the word together. You, 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 you can't you can't take the competition out of Scrabble. That's what they're right. doing here, right? Yeah, that's what they're doing. I, no. <laughs> it's marketed toward are, are players of all no ages. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the double-sided board is a smart approach. It allows players to switch from one mode to another as they wish. How about we just uh, start allowing people to spell whatever words they want? Well, you know what? Uh, Scrabble may be into that. It was accompanied by a survey that offered a glimpse into some of the ways British consumers have tackled classic Scrabble. London-based market researcher says 75% of UK adults, 25 to 34, have searched a word when playing the board and tile game to check if if it's real. Almost half reported to try to make up a new word in hopes of winning. Um, and they Do you said, know your last name's only 10 points? Wow. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, 17, that, I'm a, that know. needs to be... Let's see, there's one other thing in here. Uh, the company has no plans yet to put it in the United States, but they're working on it. It's a different way to play Scrabble and continue to attract new players to the game around the world. It's produced in 28 different languages currently. Just, just come up with a new game. Yes, come up with a new game called <laughs> I Give Up. I Don't Want to Compete. And uh, I like the idea. You know, Can you imagine everybody decides to put the word together? It's called illiteracy. Oh, I can imagine the words that are being put down there. All right. So uh, Scrabble and all into the uh, guise of being inclusive. It's 855-839-1210. I saw this and it brought a lot of memories back. And I apologize. We didn't see it coming. Here we go again. But the House, I think it was on Monday or yesterday, voted overwhelmingly to ban using a cell phone, a handheld device while driving. And now it's on to the Senate. So we got into this kind of late. And Dan, when I first started at Talk Radio 1210, then the big talker, uh, the town of Concha, I think it was West Conshohocken, decided they were going to ban cell phone usage while driving because somebody had an accident in a town over in Bucks County. So I got listeners revved up and I went there. And uh, to the town council meeting and the president didn't like it and said, before we start the proceedings tonight, we have a big mouth with us. And I raised my <laughs> hand and said, no, it's a big talker. You know how and, at the end of mass, they asked for all the new people to stand the day yes. you stand in front of the audience. And- well, he overturned the table and wanted to fight there at the town council meeting. <laughs> By the time the thing got over, there were four TV stations out there around us. And that's, seen, that's a lot of years ago. How did this happen that we're back with this again? Now, Dan, look, we, we don't want accidents and all, but I think people are capable of doing There's a lot of other driving behaviors. We talk about this all the time that uh, people shouldn't be doing either. This has a lot of value to be able to talk on a cell phone. You think it ought to be banned? I mean, can we ban it for everybody besides me? So only there you I'm go. allowed to do it? Exactly. I'm an expert double tasker and I can both drive and text at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, texting's a little bit. Well, that's the yeah. thing is yeah. how do you how do you control like I, I'm completely with you when it comes to hands free devices, connecting right. with your car, calling through your speakers. Uh, but there are so many times that I'm on the left lane on forty two trying to get onto the Walt Whitman mm-hmm. Bridge and the person's driving twenty miles per hour 
under the speed limit. You can see them in their rear view mirror with their head down in their wow. lap, you know, texting. Yeah. I, it's it's incredibly frustrating when you well i think that's anybody. a judgment call for the texting yeah texting is out of bounds you can't text we all know that that's a different situation but um talking on the cell phone i didn't see this coming now we know jersey how rigorous they are but now pennsylvania wants to do the same thing all right phone lines are 855-839-1210 today national siblings day hit us with that all-time group of siblings we'll take your calls next on Talk Radio 1210. Rich Zioli. Rich Zioli. Lieutenant Colonel Tulsi Gabbard, how are you, Tulsi? Aloha. You are on the short list for President Trump's uh, VP list. Obviously, there are so many serious challenges that, that face our country right now. And if I were asked to serve in that position where I could help implement President Trump's agenda of securing our border, and uh, I would be honored to serve in a position where I could help accomplish these things for the American people. Rich Zioli, weekday afternoons, 3 to 7, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT and on the free Odyssey app. Hi, it's John DeMassey, host of Health Watch, a live call-in show airing every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on WPHT. <laughs> what would you do to protect yourself this cold and flu season? Well, medical hydration therapy at Innovative Medical Associates could help to boost your immune system. That's because vitamin C and other key nutrients are delivered intravenously right to your cells. Medical hydration therapy may even lessen symptoms should you become ill with a virus or suffer with long COVID or post post-COVID conditions. Dr. Molly Fantasia at Innovative Medical Associates prescribes a personalized treatment plan for every patient. We are a medical facility. We treat our IV protocols or our hydration protocols as a medical modality. Learn more about the benefits of medical hydration therapy at InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. And be sure to join Dr. Molly and me on Sunday mornings at 8 and again at 4 for Health Watch on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. I am a waitress, so I know the difference between regular shoes and Skechers Slip Resistant Work Shoes. Skechers Slip Resistant Work Shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Primavera. Thanks. While regular shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Primavera. And that difference is why I wear Skechers Slip Resistant Work Shoes to keep me safe on my feet. Plus, they're easy to clean and have Skechers exclusive air-cooled memory foam for comfort throughout my shift. Get America's number one selling work shoe at Skechers.com, a Skechers store near you, or wherever work shoes are sold. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. Hey, Clementine. We know your favorite station is Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. WPHT. All right, time to your Dano show, 855-839-1210. This is kind of curious. Joe Biden has just said that the United States government is considering dropping the Assange case. Maybe not as famous as the Snowden case. And as I recall it, he got classified Afghan and Iraqi documents and was distributing it. I'm not on that side necessarily. I don't, I don't know about Rand Paul tomorrow night, what he'd say, but uh, kind of curious they're thinking of uh, dropping that. Um, we have another story that's gone viral involving McDonald's this time. And it underlines the $20 an hour minimum wage now in California, which I know, you know, prices there in California, but still $20 an hour at the low level fast food. That's going to be pretty hard to make up a social media video about a $25 McDonald's deal has sparked debate about the minimum wage increase. A TikTok user who posts videos uh, shared the video on March 27th. It was the drive through of a Southern California McDonald's location where she saw a sign for a 40-piece chicken McNugget meal deal, which included two fries. 
The price of the deal was $25.39, including sales tax. It would come to roughly $27. In the video, the social media user lamented the meal didn't even include a drink. How about a Sprite? Why not throw that in? So, Dan, you are at the uh, fast food desk back there. Yeah, yeah. He's very f- fond of fast food. Yeah, I know. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I know that's, all right, 40 chicken McNuggets. It's a lot of chicken nuggets. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But still, it would come to 27 bucks now. Yeah. So that's, that's, people, that's ridiculous. Yeah, people are lining up. Some of them are crazy. They're blaming McDonald's. But if you have a $20 an hour minimum wage on top of inflation that's been created and yeah. everything else, you're going to end up with something like this. So what, so, sh- so you're what should it cost? It's, a, it's, 40, it's 40 nuggets for $25? 40 nuggets and, and two, large two fries. fries. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what should it cost? In well, the let, me, real world? Let, me, let me put it this way, contextualize. I, I remember back in high school, college, we would yeah. go for lunch over to Buffalo Wild Wings, and they would have, um, I think it was 50 cent boneless wings day. Right. right. So every Thursday, I think it was 50 cents for boneless. So you're charging now, you're telling me for this meat mush that you know McDonald's sells as chicken nuggets, it's more than 50 cents per chicken nugget? Yes. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's 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 nuts. I, 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 I got a breakfast sandwich from there. A breakfast meal the other day. It was like eleven bucks. So is it McDonald's or is it what's been triggered here? I mean, even if we say they're taking advantage of it a little bit, but say McDonald's. But I mean, they have a twenty dollar an hour minimum wage in California. Yeah, that's a lot to make up right out of the box. All right, eight five five eight three nine twelve ten. Because the big story today to me is, and the repercussions of this are unbelievable, the big story is that inflation is baked in. Year over year, March to March, it was up 3.5% again. Most people say, all right, you know, normal inflation should be around two or under. Wall Street is in a meltdown the last couple of hours because of that. Because now the Fed is not going to lower interest rates, likely in June. Because they're seeing... We just can't get out of this. It's the age old thing. Once you do this, what Biden has done, you don't snap your fingers with the economy and suddenly the inflation goes away. That's what he keeps on telling us. Uh, They had Janet Yellen out there yesterday uh, talking about things have gotten so much better. Sadness from inside out. Yeah. And where is it? And then they start to blame people and say, oh, here it is. We have a strong economy. This is cut to. Here's Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, who shouldn't be allowed out of the, they ought to keep her in a vault. As soon as she gets out there, she says dumb stuff that's offensive. Cut uh, to. I believe inflation will continue to come down. Yeah, and I guess I'm just wondering if the economy continues to hold up, no matter what happens on the Fed. I think we've got a good, strong economy. We've got very strong domestic demand. Um, consumers are holding up some low-income consumers. Um or perhaps exhausting their buffers of saving that they built up during the pandemic. We're seeing a little bit more distress at the household level there, but generally households are in very good financial shape. Our financial system is generally quite strong. Um, I don't, things can always happen. There's always recession risk. Geopolitical developments could um, create risk to our economy. But I think we've got a good, strong economy that's on a solid track. Yeah, notice what she's trying to edge. Oh, we allowed you to build up all that money savings during COVID. So now maybe you're using it wisely to get through this period of time. Inflation is not going down. That's the story today. The, the consumer price index, that's what people go by. Year over year, 3.5% up from last March. When they told us all this was happening, it's baked in. It keeps on getting added on. So the presidential race is coming down to that. And maybe surprisingly, illegal immigration on one side. On the other side, the two things against Republicans and how this schemes out abortion and uh, the buildup of antagonism toward Trump. So which is going to win on that? Are people really going to go with abortion and I don't like Trump's personality or tweets over inflation and illegal immigration? And the fact that Biden doesn't know what he's doing, and it's obvious. 
It's not on some big policy debate or anything else. I'm looking at the result. Uh, the Dow is down, Dan, 416, 417 points at this point. My God, how many times can we yeah. go through this with this guy? And it's all triggered because they're afraid inflation's baked in. You're going to see if it gets out that a week before that he is going to uh, lower interest rates in June. That was predicted. It'll start a week before the market will be up unbelievable. Then when he does it, it'll be up even more. That's what people want. It'll free things up. But no, not going to be able to do that until you get a different economy, a different direction. Energy is the critical thing here. We all know that Biden doesn't want to do that. All right, Audrey is out there in Jameson. Audrey is on Talk Radio 1210. Hey, Audrey, afternoon to you. Hey, how you doing? Good. Um, hey, I just wanted to put a shout out there, a little short notice, but um, President Trump's going to have a busy Saturday here in Pennsylvania. Um, he's headed to a big, huge fundraiser at the Newtown Athletic Club. And uh, we want to show him our support as our boots on the ground and uh, here in Bucks County, how much support he has. So I'm asking anybody... Uh, that has some free time during 1 to one p.m. to 3 p.m. at the intersection of Penn's Trail and Pheasant Run in Newtown, right off the bypass, Saturday, April 13th, 1 to 3. Uh, bring a chair, bring friends, family. I'll have tons of flags. We'll have all kinds of gear, um, Trump gear, if you want to uh, get any. And um, I'll have signs if you want to bring your own. Um, we'll make sure they're, you know, apropos and <laughs> appropriate. Um, All right. But yeah, we want to have a real nice greeting. I know some people are going up to the rally in Schnecksville, but this will be just a, a greeting party for him as he arrives at his big fundraiser at the New Town Athletic Club. So um, you can reach me at Audrey at rightforbucks.com. Thanks, Audrey. Audrey. at rightforbucks.com. Thank you. Thanks, Audrey, very much. And we talked to Jim Worthington about this yesterday. So it, uh, yeah, Bucks County is ground zero in the battle here for Pennsylvania and it's moving red. All right. Side question today. Hit us with that all time. It's national sibling day. Uh, let's go to Joe of Exton a little bit off the beaten path again here, Dan, I told you about them. Uh, his answer is classic. Hey Joe, uh, good Wednesday. What do you have today? Oh yes. Hello Dom. Good Wednesday. My siblings, are the Lennon sisters on the uh, Lawrence Welk show. Were you a fan of Lawrence Welk, uh, Dan, uh, Joe? Yes, I used to watch him, yes. Yeah, and the Lennon sisters. Stan doesn't know too much. How would you describe them? Uh, um, they, they had a very ni- there were four of them, I believe. And they had a very nice voice. Uh, it was pleasant. Um, uh a Welk would always uh, have them perform on each program. <clears throat> yeah, without a doubt. And a one, and a two. All right. Thank you, Joe. Lawrence Welk and the guy. Woo, the Lennon sisters. Yeah. Oh, man. That's got to be 50 years ago. 40, and uh, maybe 50. So uh, scouring the interwebs over here, yeah. I uh, discovered a Democratic representative Sorensen on the inflation topic yes. trying to reframe uh, some of this, Dom. You want to take a listen yes. and hear what he had to say? Now, uh, wait, wait, who's, who's Sorensen? Uh, just a representative, Eric Sorensen, Democratic okay. representative. Okay. Polls are showing he's just as unpopular as before, and, and his handling of the economy has not been good. Is this an economy that you are proud to run for re-election on? I mean, look, you know, in in the previous president said, are you better off than you were four years ago? Four years ago, we didn't have toilet paper, right? We are better off than we, we didn't have toilet paper, Dom. Ago. We are in the right direction. Um, the price of goods, the price of inf- or the cost of inflation is is going down. No, it's not, buddy. Newscast. And we didn't have paper then, Dan, because of COVID, because of all the turmoil There's that no was going on. Four years ago. They keep on trying to go back to the worst moment of COVID to pin that on Trump to let this guy get out of it. The thing I don't think that Republicans are doing, and maybe the average person wouldn't care, Dan. Maybe it's just me. I so resent this selfish man with Michael Bashalos and John Meacham here sitting in the Oval Office with these other stuffed shirt. Uh, historians telling him, you're going to be FDR and LBJ. Here's your chance. One thing to do with this crisis, spend big. And this guy even overspent big. And as a result, you get inflation. Yep. 
And it doesn't go away, particularly when you're tamping down energy. It's classic. Everybody knows what's going on here. It's not going down. It's not, the rate isn't even going down. To say that, you need to be at 2% month after month. Some months it is, some months it goes back up. What does that tell you? It's baked in. It's a cycle. And that's why the Fed, they're the ultimate determiners, may not lower interest rates. If they don't, then a lot of people can't start businesses. They can't get in the homes. And who did it? This selfish man who thought he would be a significant president because of all these gigantic government programs. That's what uh, FDR did. And that's what LBJ did. It sounds like this is going to become a strategy, too, Dom. How should people be pushing back on that argument? Well, if you just look at where we were four years ago, uh, you couldn't buy toilet paper sometimes. Ah, uh, uh, the toilet we were, paper, man, uh, a lot of bathrooms. So many uh, issues. Not A lot of bathroom talk here, Dan. Maybe that's your candidate. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we didn't have Pete the booty judge. Yeah, Pete Booty Judge. He can walk his dog, he said, uh, with uh, uh, Jen Psaki. He can walk his dog to Capitol Hill. So, why are people worried about crime <laughs> in Washington? Could you see this guy walking his dog through many sections of Washington, D.C.? Yeah. yeah, right. Or his bike with his little helmet on it. All right, 855 839 1210. You'll get a line. Coming up, a product near and dear to Dan's heart. I won't say it yet. They're saying should not be allowed on the menu for schools. That's right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a big one, too. We've even done shows around it. Wonton soup? No. Not no. Wonton soup. Not chicken fricassee, either. Ooh, not fricassee. That's for the Senate uh, mess yesterday. <laughs> How about Senate bean soup? Or I'm passing an edict. No New England clam chowder will be allowed tomorrow Oh, yeah, you night. got that, that, that Twitter no. poll, man. I, no, I don't know, though. No, no. 78.6% of our listeners like that New England clam chowder. It just finalized the results, actually. Uh, well, yeah. I think the Zlock Performing Arts Center has gotten my memo, and I think they'll respond tomorrow night. They have a cafeteria there, too, somewhere. Oh, yeah? On the campus, and I better not see any New England clam chowder. Will they be borscht? Borscht? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. And how's it going with that uh, Russian to sing the national anthem? You can get a Hungarian if a Russian's not there. Really? You're yeah. okay with that? I'm okay with that. Could be a okay. fake. Yeah. 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 We'll ask Rand Paul <laughs> about that early on. See if that gets him in a lather <laughs> about the Russian stuff. Hey, if you're dealing with inflation or stiff joints, then Glyco Plus from Rescue Natural Supplements can be a ticket to a healthier spring. Glyco Plus features a unique blend of green lip muscle complex and UC2 collagen specifically designed to support joint health. Collagen, a vital component of joint cartilage, plays a crucial role in maintaining strength and flexibility. And right now, Rescue Glyco Plus is buy one, get one free for anyone with our exclusive radio code. Just use the code RELIEF to double up your order for free. Again, that's R-E-L-I-E-F. Call them today, 826-LIFE, 800 5483 and speak to a knowledgeable rescue product consultant. You can also use the code online when you visit res-q.com. res-q.com. Get back into action with less pain and more comfort. Again, use that code RELIEF, R-E-L-I-E-F, buy one, get one free on Rescue Lyco Plus. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-403-5569 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-403-5569. That's 800-403-5569. What do you have to lose? Call 800-403-5569. Again, 800-403-5569. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. 
Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-700-6898. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes or overweight or have high blood pressure. Term Provider has helped thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-700-6898. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-700-6898. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds too. Call 800-700-6898, 800-700-6898, or BigLou.com. Open that window and get a breath of fresh air. This spring, P.J. Fitzpatrick has great deals to replace your leaky old windows with beautifully designed, budget-friendly, energy-efficient, American-made windows. P.J. Fitzpatrick has a variety of financing packages that work with almost any budget. Plus, P.J. Fitzpatrick provides peace of mind with a lifetime guarantee on materials and labor. You can have it all. Visit TrustPJ.com today for a free design consultation. That's TrustPJ.com today. Hey, Philly. Jason Kelsey here. Even though I won't be playing on Sundays anymore, you can still find me at Lincoln Financial Field on Saturday, May 18th for the Eagles Autism Challenge presented by Lincoln Financial Group. This event raises millions of dollars to support autism research and care and gives you the chance to walk, run, or ride your bike beside your favorite Eagles players. Together, we can transform the lives of individuals affected by autism. Register today at EaglesAutismChallenge.org, and I'll see you there. Lose 20 to 40-plus pounds guaranteed with NJ Diet. NJ Diet uses DNA and blood work to help you lose weight and keep it off. Tune into their radio show Sundays at 2 or visit NJDiet.com. Weather sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. The forecast will continue to feel more like May, partly to mostly cloudy today with a scattered shower, high 73. Tonight, clouds continue with a stray shower, low 58. And for Thursday, becoming breezy with rain, especially during the afternoon, high near 70. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more, more offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Broadcasting from Cherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. All right, it is Dom time, Dom Giordano. So President Trump has landed in Georgia, where things are looking better. They've cleaned up uh, election integrity there, I think. We've seen that in 2022. He's asked, though, about Arizona and this uh, Supreme Court in Arizona unearthing this 134-year-old law that would ban abortion I've had no one call in or even hit me on social media that I've seen saying, that's right, that's the way it ought to be, except for the life of the mother. You understand that Arizona now is leaning Biden. It was leaning more than leaning Trump. I think it was moving toward almost being purple. Here's what President Trump said about Arizona and what's going on there right now. Oh, thank you, sir. Can you- Mr. President, did Arizona go too far? Did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And as you know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be taken care of, I think, very quickly. What do you think about Florida? Uh, Florida? Florida is probably maybe going to change or something. See, it's all about the, the will of the people. This is what I've been saying. It's a perfect system. So for 52 years, people have wanted to end Roe v. Wade to get it back to the states. We did that. It was an incredible thing, an incredible achievement. We did that. And now the states have it. And the states are putting out what they want. It's the will of the people. So Florida's probably going to change. Uh, Arizona's going to definitely change. Everybody wants that to happen. And you're getting the will of the people. It's been uh, pretty amazing. All right, notice there, Jimmy Matthews' note, Dan, the guy to get his attention didn't say, Mr. Former President. He said, Thank you, sir. Can you, Mr. President, did Arizona Mr. Go President. Too far? Yes, Mr. President. You're not getting Trump's attention. Is he turning around if you say, Mr. Former President? Mr. Former President. So. Yeah, I don't think so. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't now, off the Trump is a bit at war with himself there, but he's playing it right, saying, well, Arizona state's rights, well, their argument on the other side is, look at what this court did. Doesn't that stand? Now, I don't know if Arizona will drag their feet. This is going to be a battle here 
because there are some goofy Republicans there who want this 134 year old law to take precedence. I think they can deal with it. Alabama did with their Supreme Court and the IVF. So um, if they don't, then I would predict you're going to lose Arizona. I would predict that right now, unless that's changed. It'll be on the ballot to kind of enshrine abortion there. Um, If that's not dealt with, and whatever the legal mechanism is to get it to, I think the standard prior to this decision was 15 weeks, whatever the legal mechanism is to go back now and knock this out of the box, just like they did in Alabama, if they don't, then guess what? I think Alabama's, I mean, Arizona is going to be very tough. That's the reality we're in. And I know people feel, um, well, I haven't had people really come. One person put up a picture of a baby being aborted and attacked me. You can't be a Catholic. You're like Joe Biden and all this stuff. That's ridiculous. And if you're a supporter of President Trump, you heard what he said right there. And I think that's on point. You know, he's not being pinned down. Well, wait a minute. They're saying it's uh, just for the life of the mother. Should that stand as the state's right? No, he thinks that's too harsh. And he's right. And he didn't get pinned down, even though Kellyanne Conway apparently wanted it, with any number of weeks. That was exactly how to answer this. All right, so 855 839 are you okay? Trump is continuing, consistent with what he said on Monday, even though on Tuesday we were hit with this tsunami from a swing state. I'm not sure if any other swing state has as much action on the ballot around um, abortion. I think it could be on the ballot, something in Ohio, but that's not a swing state anymore. Florida, we know it is. I still think Trump wins Florida by more than a point. Pennsylvania, it's Josh Shapiro every day hammering away at this. But Trump really took some of the uh, steam out of what Democrats are up to. On Monday, I think it was one of his greatest moments. Not allowed to say that, Dom. You have to just move on here and not underline that if you don't, you're going to lose. Yes, even to Biden. All right, 855 839 You get in. Hit us with that um, all time group of siblings. Today is National Siblings Day. By the way, you're going to have to think a little bit for this. And I know Dan loves it. So do I. Tomorrow, in honor of our event with um, Rand Paul, and even though we're going to have that little debate on TikTok tomorrow night, debates that people make that are not, you know, not like abortion, you know, hit us with an all-time debate. We have a couple that we're squirreling away that we'll roll out tomorrow that I think are pretty funny. But the classic, Dan, the classic example of it is uh, Tina Louise or Dawn Wells, Ginger or Marianne. That's an all-timer. I've started to soften a bit. I see, Have you? Yeah, I see how attractive Dawn Wells is. But the big hair still puts Tina Louise over the top. There's no doubt. It's not. It's not. Well, it's coming back, according to fashion. Thank big God. Hair is coming back. Miley Cyrus, what was she? She had the Grammys. Yeah, the, it, was a, uh, it was a little bit too, too much I, for you. Yeah, I don't like the She's way it was She's going like done. full 80s hair band. Almost. Yeah, it was a little bit too much. Like she Tina Turner, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. craziness. I, 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 I don't mind the big hair. I just don't find it. Like when I think of big hair, the person I think of is Nancy Grace. Oh, well, yeah. that's unfair. Come on. Then. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, not, that's my, my, not my cup of tea. That's really hitting below the belt for that. I think of Tina Louise. Who else do I think of? Uh, I'll have some more. But what, to- what I recently heard, they're, they're having this one over at WIP, but I, I yeah. was very passionate about this one. Do you fill up your gas at the gas tank or do you go with a set amount? $20, $40 when you go to the gas? I station? fill it up as close as I can to the thing. So because- you, you tell the person, fill it up. Fill it with regular? Oh, well, I always do my own. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, right. You're, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So I fill it up. Yeah, you fill it up all the way? Well, I know down to the mile almost how many miles. You I'm calculate go your uh, gas gas mileage? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> does not surprise me at all. Now I have to pay more for the Zlock Performing Arts Center tomorrow night, which is uh, it's, it's, um, it's 40 minutes away from my house. It's so. a beautiful venue, though. It is. It's, it's a great wait. venue. And again, if you're watching on YouTube and listening on YouTube, holding it up, the scotch from uh, Mike Opelka, he went all out. 
Dan, I, I'm just reading this, the small print during the break. If I take two shots of that right at the beginning, <laughs> that is going to be, I don't know if I'll get through an hour and 15 minutes with Rand Paul. Might be a one-shot thing. Is there a person in, in this industry that's nicer or kinder than Michael Pelton? Oh, he's just unbelievable. He's really he is. is just uh, one of a kind. Yeah. Just, just for context sake, the guy came in for a meeting today. He yeah. hopped on air with us, but. He brought, I think, like nine or ten different sandwiches just to give everyone on the staff, you know, a sandwich because he didn't want to leave anybody out. He's a well, I appreciate that. When they guy. take care of their producers, that's exactly right. So, how many people do I have to buy drinks for tomorrow night? I'm thinking <laughs> hint, of that bunch. Um, yeah, make, yeah. Uh, as a producer, there's sponsors, there's Leslie, there's Johnny Z. I mean, they're all on the list. It's gonna be backstage with Rand Paul, Dan. I told you. When he was running for president, I got him to come to Philadelphia. The only time we've had someone running for president for speaker series, he comes in. It was pretty informal, Dan. It was with the program director, not Greg, and the head guy over the program director. And he goes, oh, my neck is killing me. I thought somebody's going to give him a massage there. I'm thinking, oh, man. So uh, he is uh, quite a uh, provocateur. Tickets, 1210WPHT.com. Don't miss out. It's going to be Yeah, it's going to be a lot of – and Nick Kale introduces Nick us. Nick Kale will be there. Yeah, I hope Nick uh, comes up with a little wrestling style for uh, the Rand Paul introduction here. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure we will. And I definitely plan on going around the lobby and saying hello to folks. Uh, yeah, so come exactly. Out, get to meet me, get to meet Nick, Dom. Yeah. I'll be there. All right, 855-839-1210. That's how you get in. Oh, by the way, Consumer Reports says – Lunchable should not be allowed on the menu for school. Oh, get out. Yep. I didn't know. I, I, mean, know, I thought it was going to be chocolate milk or something. The Lunchables now? Just think of how many bad foods are, no, are for kids, et cetera. And, and I mean, they're nasty, too, looking and tasting. Why in the world can't you have a lunch that kids might like a little bit? Come on. Oh, so you're pro lunchables. Yeah, I'm pro lunchables. Oh, I thought you were telling that lunchables was the crap that no, know, they're horrible. Okay. They're horrible, but I'm they're pro. better than the stuff that they serve in schools. Right? Yeah, and I'm okay with kids eating lunchables. I don't think it's the end of the world. It's yeah. there's nothing better. I, there's nothing better than a pizza lunchable with pepperoni. I, I had a uh, what's the name? Well, um, wonton soup. No, what sandwich did I have the other day? I told you I was going to a salami sandwich. That you had a salami from, sandwich. I had a salami hold sandwich. On, yes. Hold on. Yeah, sign of the apocalypse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let me get this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Dom has eaten a salami sandwich. It was great. Did you have cheese on it? No cheese. Though. No, just special herbs and spices along with the uh, salami. Where'd you get? Is the salami like a homemade salami? Did a Frankie no, South Philly send it no, up or something? No, it was not. Uh, Ro got it somewhere okay, fancy. Though. Gotcha. Yes, there you go. All right, uh, Captain Chucky's though. All that to kind of warm you up for that. Remind you for all your spring gatherings to call and order delicious seafood. The top of the list, don't forget to order the brand new Bang Bang Jumbo Lump Crab Cake. Delicious, creamy, five-ounce Jumbo Lump Braddock Crab Cake with a kick for those who like to spice it up with some meat. Check your store for availability, and it's a perfect time when you're there to check out all of Captain Chucky's offerings. Those stuffed mushrooms, the various salads, tremendous variety of homemade sides, desserts. You'll save so much time letting Captain Chucky's prepare your table. They also have several choices of breaded, non-breaded crab cakes. There's literally a crab cake for everybody. Desserts, soup, sides, appetizers. They use only the highest quality ingredients. Their golf shrimp, a huge hit. It's always wild caught, never farm raised. My favorite, those delicious Dom rolls. So visit Captain Chucky's today. It's easy to do. There's one near you. Just go to welovecrabcakes.com. Welovecrabcakes.com. The IRS finally caught up with Louie. I hadn't paid my taxes in eight years. I owed the IRS a lot of money. Louie was in deep trouble. We're going to take your house, put a lien on your bank account, uh, garnish your pay. They don't care. They're going to take your paycheck. Louie found out about Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optima Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore, and I'm able to live a comfortable life, <laughs> a lot better life. It was because of Optima Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go it alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. 
Pop them a tax relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Stay warm this month with Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. Jack Daniels is America's oldest registered distillery and aged in handcrafted, toasted, and charred new American white oak barrels. Stop by your local PA Fine Wine and Good Spirits location to pick up Jack Daniels Black Label, Tennessee Honey, Tennessee Fire, and Tennessee Apple 750 milliliters on sale all month. And please drink responsibly. Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey, 40% alcohol by volume. Jack Daniels Distillery, Lynchburg, Tennessee. Jack Daniels at Old Number Seven are registered trademarks. Copyright 2020. Jack Daniels. All rights reserved. Planning a wedding? Enhance the experience with a rehearsal dinner or reception at Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse in Center City, Philadelphia. Experience the Del Frisco's difference for all your wedding festivities. For more information, call 267-817-3867. This is Dr. Mary Ann Ritchie. Tune in to your radio doctor every Saturday afternoon at 5 here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT for the latest healthcare news and information because your health is your wealth. That's your radio doctor, Saturdays at 5. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Be sure to follow Talk Radio 1210 WPHT on the free Odyssey app. Download it now. They're running a strange program, y'all. It's stand time. I can handle things. I'm smart. I'm like everybody says. With Dom. That's right. It's that time of the afternoon that producer Dan takes over the Dom Giordano program for some Dan time with Dom. And Dom, let's get to some TV ratings right out of the box. Um, The NCAA Women's Championship, I think you might have predicted this, but they did indeed have higher Nielsen figures for the first time in history. 18.9 viewers tuning in to watch University of South Carolina defeat Iowa compared to 14.8 in the men's game, Dom. So the women's game outshining. Bravo to you for making that call. Well, thank you. Yeah, and Connecticut is a very good team. I like what they do as a basketball purist. They're kind of boring, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You think so? Not with Caitlin Clark and not with Dawn Staley there. There's drama. That's what draws people. I I think a lot of it, too, is you you have a lot of programs. UConn's kind of an outlier here, but it's one and done. You can't get attachment to the players like you used to be able to with, like, Christian Lake. Exactly. Now you have the females who are there for years that you kind of develop a following for. And What these people don't get, it's not that Caitlin Clark scored all these points and she beat out several women who were African-American. Why did she get all that? It's the way that she was doing it. She was shooting from 35 feet sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing stuff, Dom. Also, ratings, wrestling, uh, WrestleMania 40, Dom, Peacock's most stream entertainment event ever. Uh, they say 1.3 billion minutes over oh. the weekend of April 6th and 7th were streamed for this. How much did event it cost? Philadelphia. Uh, the, what, for, for the event? So yeah. all, all you needed was a Peacock subscription. So I think it's $10 okay. a month or something like that. But while we're on the uh, note of streaming, today releases the uh, – the series, the adaptation, television adaptation, I'm Prime of Fallout, a video game that uh, is about a nuclear, you know, uh, kind of thing and a fallout shelter and coming out of the fallout shelter after a nuclear disaster. Mm. But also appearing on HBO, it's almost like the Americans, Dom, but taking place now with the Vietnam War. It's called The Sympathizer with Robert Downey Jr. getting really glowing reviews. So maybe something you might want to check out on HBO. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I'm telling you, Carrie Russell, if you've never seen the series, The Americans, oh, my goodness. Yeah, just. but the idea of th- those are Russian spies living in America. Well, this series tells the story of a Vietnam spy, a Viet Cong spy, ah. now living in America and I think Hollywood in L.A., uh, following him as he reports back to the Viets and also tries to live an American life and, you know, struggle between the two lines. Yeah, uh, living as a commie in L.A., that shouldn't be too hard to pull <laughs> off. Or, uh, you know, in Larry Krasner's office, you could be living as a pretend D.A., not tra- charging anything. 
And yeah. finally, Dom, you often hear about uh, situations here uh, with wear and haircuts and teeth, and we talk about Murphy right. and all, but uh, Rishi Sunak is facing some criticism after wearing some Adidas Samba trainers and had to apologize for, you know, making the shoe look irrelevant. I don't, I don't know if you saw that. No. But a uh, prime minister out there had to apologize to the masses uh, after a Downing Street interview because he paired white shirt, navy chinos, black socks with a pair of white shoes. Ah, the white Maybe shoes. I never right. wore the white shoes. Let's stop all that. Okay. There are pictures. There's proof of you with yeah, those white shoes. No on. White I shoes. heard you're going to be wearing them to the Rand Vol. No, well. I have already have that blue suit that people feel up the texture of it. A people pink, a pink here, tie. Right? And of course, the tan. Uh, so what if someone comes over and says, Dom, I want to feel your suit? Absolutely. Now feel they put away. that out there into the universe. So feel away. Happen. Just, you know, don't uh, don't <laughs> disrupt it. I have it. It has to be wrinkle free. Okay. Rishi Sunak, also the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. I don't know if I put that up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, coming up, Ben Weingarten. The last time he was on the show from Real Clear Politics, it was overwhelming social media approval. Wow, this guy was good. He's back, and he says that Biden bucks, what Biden is doing, puts Zucker bucks, remember that, in the 2020 election, on steroids. He's next. In addition to that, police cracking down on the ATV crowd. And one of them runs over a cop. I'll give you all the details. They are cracking down on them. They're not. This isn't uh, Jim Kenny with Sherelle Parker, who hopefully will be on the show next week. All right. Phone lines are 855-839-1210. Hey, uh, let's talk uh, to future home sellers out there. You want to maximize your profit when selling your home. And my great friend, Diane Cardano, wants to make sure you don't make the most common mistakes. One, you start too late. You got started months, even a year in advance. That's what you do to get the best pricing on repairs and a stress-free home sale, too. You overlook simple, low-cost fix-ups from painting to outdated hardware and lighting. Small changes, Diane's a master, can really boost your home's value. Three, you don't plan those beautiful, eye-catching exterior photos. Spring and summer are the perfect time to capture your home's beauty. Save up the photos, even if you're not going to sell to the winner. Four, poor staging. Diane says it's best to stage your home in the pictures to get thousands of impressions online. And finally, overpricing. Price your home strategically to attract hundreds of buyers to bid the price higher than you can imagine. All this with Diane Cardano. One phone call. Just call her now. Talk this through with her. 215-576-8666 or online. 215-576-8666.com. Crash Proof Retirement is taking an aggressive, bold step, becoming the very first firm in history to record and store all financial meetings. This unprecedented initiative documents that at Crash Proof Retirement, fiduciary responsibility is not just something we say. It's a legally binding guarantee that we've always delivered to the Philadelphia region. Savannah McHugh from Lansdale, Montgomery County. Wall Street will tell you they're looking out for your best interest. They say that fiduciary thing, and then it goes out the window. Crash Proof is saying, not only are we saying it to you, but we're going to put it on film. There's no shadow over anything that they do. That's the difference. Crash Proof Retirement has taken the time to show that they care so that we can go home, go to sleep, and not have to worry about it. Learn why recording all financial meetings validates Crash Proof Retirement's fiduciary responsibility at the next educational event at Springfield Country Club on April 16th, 800-722-9728 or crashproofretirement.com. Hi everyone, Matt here from Emmons Roofing and Siding. There are a lot of companies out there that say they do roofing, siding, windows and doors. Some good, some not so good. Be careful of those that say buy two, get two free. Does that really make sense? Think about it. At Emmons, we don't offer gimmicks, just quality products installed by our experienced craftsmen. We do offer for 12 months, same as cash financing though. That's not a gimmick. That's because we know how tough it is for some people right now to get these projects done. If you need roofing, siding, or windows and doors, call us for a free estimate today at 856-885-6677 or visit us at callemmons.com. 
On March 15, 2024, Odyssey License LLC as debtor in possession, licensee of WPHT 1210 Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, filed an application with the Federal Communications Commission for an assignment of license and transfer of control to implement a joint prepackaged plan of reorganization. Members of the public wishing to view this application or obtain information about how to file comments and petitions on the application can visit publicfiles.fcc.gov and search in WPHT's public file. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-790-1400, 800-790-1400. Do you feel like you're going through life clouded by doubt? Talk to California Psychics. Our trusted and accurate psychics are available 24-7. And we guarantee, if it's not life-changing, it's free. Download the app or connect with us at CaliforniaPsychics.com. Right now, new customers get 80% off their first reading. Experience the joy of certainty. California Psychics. Philadelphia's Talk Radio 1210 WPHT WPHT HD WOGL HD3 Philadelphia from the Cherry Hill Volvo Studios where relationships matter always live on the free Odyssey app it's Dom time now Dom Giordano it is Dom time Uh, the last time we had Ben Weingarten on the show editor at large of real clear investigations got so many just unsolicited compliments and when will he be back type of stuff well he's got another uh blockbuster the pull quote how taxpayers will heavily subsidize democrat boots on the ground this election now we had guy shiraki on the show yesterday that said all right pennsylvania 54 out of 67 counties controlled by Republicans. They want to do these early voting offices. They call them satellite offices. You do it too. Put them in gun shops, fishing and bait out there in the hinterlands. They want to um, engage in um, drop boxes all over the place. Put them in strategic places that are going to work for you. We know about Zuckerbucks. There have been attempts to close. So I'm kind of surprised at what Ben found. But maybe this is much different than Zuckerbucks. These are things that are in plain view that the White House is doing this time. Let's go to Ben Weingarten, editor-at-large, Real Clear Investigations, here on Talk Radio 1210. Hey, Ben, uh, welcome back. And sincerely, last time you were on, You know, people might say something occasionally, but it was overwhelming. So thank you. Well, thanks for having me. And I uh, appreciate the audience. So, uh, Ben, this is uh, did it surprise you what you were finding here? We see some of the things I know that Biden talked about with college students and Kamala Harris has done that. But the uh, headline you have here is Biden bucks Zucker bucks on steroids. Yeah, the 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 Biden bucks operation really takes sort of the method that was used in the 2020 race to drive out, to register and mobilize voters that had not previously been registered among Democrat cohorts and drive that advantage in the -the on-the-ground game to win in swing states and in the counties and districts they needed to win. But what makes this effort distinct is that unlike with the Zuckbucks that people can understand where you had private financing of public election offices and the private financing was associated with the left and the election offices were outsourcing services to the left and that led to a massive push for mail-in voting, ballot harvesting, ballot curing, et cetera. And the dollars were targeted towards the jurisdictions that Joe Biden needed to drive out the vote to win. This time you have the entire federal government engaged in an analogous effort. And there's, it's through this executive order 14019 from the Biden administration, 
which of course, like all executive orders, is all about we want to enhance the franchise in this country. We want more people engaging in democracy. And who could, who could disagree with that? But the method in which they're doing this represents arguably a massive violation of federalism and the Constitution, and also probably a slew of other potential laws as well, like the Hatch Act and others, because what they are doing is mobilizing every single federal agency, over 600 offices, to do whatever they can, wherever they can, to register and mobilize voters. And when you look at the kinds of methods that the offices are undertaking and the offices that we're talking about here, disproportionately, they're catering to Democrats. It, this includes, by the way, at naturalization ceremonies. Mm -hmm. This includes paying students with federal work study funds to go out and register voters. This includes people engaging with HUD or with food stamps. So it's a very clear, arguable Democrat get out the vote effort that we are subsidizing via these agencies, sometimes agencies that have nothing to do whatsoever with voting, setting aside whether the Fed should be involved with this part of elections. And to boot, they are partnering with quote unquote nonpartisan third party groups to help coordinate and facilitate these efforts. And the feds won't tell us hardly anything about the strategic plans that every agency was to develop, implement, and execute, and also what the criteria were for these third-party nonprofits. But when you look at the available evidence that we have through litigation and FOIA, it's very clear that it's a coterie of left-wing, you know, progressive, but doing business as nonpartisan pro-democracy groups that are the ones at minimum advising the government on this executive order. And the number that they cite, they being the groups behind this push, an effort that was really developed by Demos, a progressive think tank, is they believe they can get three and a half million new or updated voters registered annually to the extent this is fully implemented. And this is but one way in which our taxpayer dollars are being used to potentially subsidize a massive Democrat get out the vote effort. And the other leg of this that we talk about in this article, which was something that was certainly new to me, was how Democrats have exploited charities, 501c3s, that are barred by the IRS from mm -hmm. engaging in partisan political activity to tax-free allow wealthy donors to put up infinite sums of money, again, tax-exempt, as well as being able to unlock tens or hundreds of millions of dollars from private foundations that would also be barred from engaging in partisan political activity to flow hundreds of millions of dollars in funds annually to these 501c3 charities that also present themselves as nonpartisan. But what they actually do is they go out and they try to register and mobilize voters who, if you look at the cohorts they're targeting, are clearly disproportionately Democrat. And historically, they've targeted them in the swing states. So what this looks like is another Democrat get out the vote effort under the guise of nonpartisan, let's get people engaged in democracy in a way that allows for tax exempt, infinite funding from wealthy mm -hmm. Democrat donors, as well as the unlocking of, again, of potentially hundreds of millions of dollars from private foundations that would be barred from this. So there's a loophole that's being exploited on the left, and there is nothing remotely comparable to this on the right, certainly when it comes to the Biden bucks, because the right does not control the federal agencies, and then nothing comparable in the way of potentially exploiting 501c3 charities for political ends like Democrats are doing. Now, we were surprised, I don't know about you, with Zuckerbucks. I remember reading this small article, and because Philadelphia is very suspect, Ben, just so you know, in case you're ever invested, the, the woman who heads up the voting process in Philadelphia County, Lisa Daly, has been barred. She was a former notary public because of a divorce case and what she didn't check and all that that accrued against the real wife. She was barred for life, according to news reports, as a notary public, yet she held, she, she runs the voting process here. And seeing her name in there, when I saw this, this phenomena of these satellite offices, which I believe are polling places, big battle broke out, but we were not allowed to eyeball them. They said, they're just any other state office. So that was surprising. 
$411 million, I think. The Trump campaign and Republican RNC, are they surprised by this? Are they doing anything about it? Well, I don't think there's there, there's clearly not an effort, a comparable effort to use 501c3 is the way Democrats okay. are. And th- the people that I spoke with in connection with this piece speculate that that's in large part or in part, at least likely because of the chill about potentially running afoul of the IRS when you go back to the targeting of the Tea Party. So, you know, there's a there's a notion here that uh, the prosecutorial discretion of the IRS is such that Democrats can get away with what they want to get away with, with respect to exploiting a potential loophole here, if not flatting the law. And Republicans would get punished to the nth degree. Uh, when it comes to Biden bucks, obviously, as well, nothing comparable. And we've seen a push from the RNC on a few grounds. One is certainly the lawfare, although it's much more defensive, that is trying to protect and ensure that voter integrity laws are maintained when under attack by Democrat lawfare attack dogs. We have seen in a couple dozen states a push to bar uh, Zuckbucks, and there is a Zuckbucks 2.0 effort, but they've tried to largely circumvent the states, uh, avoid the states rather, where they do have these bans on private financing or foreign financing of our public election offices. Uh, But the push seems to be more about bank the vote is what the RNC had called it of let's push people to vote early uh, and at times vote absentee, basically under the idea that you can't leave it to risk that at election day, there's, there's bad weather or other issues. And uh, to to that point, but, Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, no, I was just going to say there, there's certainly talk about registering and mobilizing voters. And, and some speculate that, look, even if Republicans were as serious about ballot harvesting or absentee voting as Democrats, there's still not infrastructure that's been laid over multiple decades. And also, by nature of where Republican demographics lie, you don't have cohorts concentrated, for example, in urban centers, where it'd be very easy to execute a similar campaign. If you make the assumption that Republican voters are spread out more generally as a practical matter, it's harder to compete. So you're talking about a party that's basically a couple decades behind, or at least a decade behind in these efforts. And Democrats will likely be perfecting the next big thing in voter registration and mobilization by the time Republicans maybe have mounted something like a similar effort. That's my assessment of it. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you because we got the numbers for the Pennsylvania primary, which is not a big deal, not like the presidential from Bucks County, which is kind of a, a tell district. And um, Republicans did pretty well. Democrats, about 15 percent mail in ballots that were requested. Republicans, about six. And our people say, well, two and a half times would not be bad versus what it usually is. But you feel, too, that they're still um, ahead of the game because they've been working at this for 10 or 20 years. Yeah. And, you know, I I talk about in this piece the the infamous Time magazine 2021 article about the uh, conspiracy, the shadow campaign, as they call it, to fortify so-called the 2020 election. And the people in there admit, despite the editorializing in the title of the article and, and in some of the text, you know, they admit that what happened in 2020 was the culmination of a long running effort. I mean, Democrats have been pushing for decades for lax voter integrity laws for more absentee and remote voting. So they've crafted a system that they already had in place the infrastructure to exploit and they continue to perfect it. Now, on the other hand, if you wanted to look at a bullish signal, and you would know that you would have insights into Pennsylvania probably far beyond me. But I've seen Selena Zito, for example, write about the fact that if you look at voter registration, yes. uh, the margin, the gap between registered Democrats and registered Republicans has shrunk dramatically in the last four years. So is that a is that a bullish signal? Is that indicative of GOP efforts or is that just a response to this is what's happened in the Democrat Party? Or you had people who for generations voted Democrat or were registered Democrat, but started voting Republican and hadn't updated their voter ID. Uh, You know, it's to be seen. But you basically have these conflicting forces of where we see the polls lie, 
which certainly trend in Donald Trump's direction. What all the typical indicators in a typical America and a tipper, typical election atmosphere would suggest about what's going to happen in 2024. But then you have a Democrat machine, which is shrewd, which is intelligent, which is pushing on every single lever possible to try and win. And so the question is going to be ultimately, what wins at the end? Is it the sort of merits of the situation or what you would typically see correlate with an electoral victory? Or is it going to be the ground game and all of the other machinations that Democrats have really perfected to try and win in closely contested national races, and in particular in the jurisdictions where they need to drive out their ballots to win? Beautifully put. The article two, uh, editor at large, Real Clear Investigations, Ben Weingarten, how taxpayers will heavily subsidize Democrat boots on the ground this election. What are you working on next, Ben? <laughs> uh, just, just a few things in the in in the docket. Um, one thing that I think I'll be focusing on is the burgeoning attack on the IRS whistleblowers in the Hunter Biden and broader Biden family investigation. There's been a little bit written on it, but there's a concerted effort by Hunter Biden's team to go after those whistleblowers, and it appears that the DOJ itself is pulling its punches when it comes to defending the whistleblowers when attacked in court filings in the litigation that's going on. So that's one thing to look for. And then I should also point out, I participated in a heritage weaponization of a U.S. government symposium yesterday. It's an exceptional symposium. Everyone should check it out. I was on a panel myself and Mike Benz, moderated oh, yes. by Kara Frederick on the censorship industrial complex. Urge everyone to check that out as well. Uh, I have Rand Paul tomorrow night. What's the number one thing we do speaker series with him? Big event, uh, Ben. I have only 48 questions so far. What's one <laughs> thing Ben Weingarten would ask Rand Paul? Hmm. Well, I would be curious to ask him, what is the Republican plan to combat Democrat use of the federal government to drive out likely Democrat voters? But set that aside, I, I, would, I would probably ask him, you know, what concrete, tangible evidence can you point to that the censorship industrial complex won't meddle, interfere in our elections in 2024 as they did in 2020? And what are you as a U.S. senator doing to prevent that kind of political interference? All right. After the bourbon questions we have for him tomorrow night, that'll be right there. <laughs> Thank Appreciate you. that. Thank you, Ben. Great work as usual. Thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, Ben Weingarten, again, this guy is the very best at real queer politics, real queer investigations. Tiffany Justice was on before, Dan, the synergy of this uh, from Moms for Liberty. She was there at the weaponization. So was this guy. This guy I is no really good. Uh, he needs a bigger role at real queer politics, Dan. I'm impressed. I just asked a question and I looked up three minutes ago and by and it was fascinating to <laughs> click on this detailing. Now, does that mean he's not saying that people ought to get depressed? Oh, woe is us. We can't beat Democrats on this. No. What we're saying is, though, this is a call to arms further about the infrastructure that Guy Shiraki talked about yesterday. So I'll ask Rand Paul about this tomorrow night. Remember, uh, Dan, how many tickets was that? Greg Stocker's Yeah, we released. unleashed 20 more tickets. All right. Uh, so there are tickets available for the event, 1210WPHT.com. Get them quick. 1210WPHT.com. Love to see you tomorrow night. The bar, the whole thing there at, in Bucks County, the Zlock Performing Arts Center with Senator Rand Paul. But right now, it is time for it's the Money Melody. So the money gone. That is right. And uh, today we are playing for a pair of tickets to see the Bluegrass Band Shadowgrass April 28th at the Zlock Performing Arts Center on the campus of Bucks County Community College, Newtown, Pennsylvania. For tickets and more information, visit bucks.edu slash tickets. Yeah, so Dom, today we're asking a side topic of famous siblings. And uh, I got to tell you, back in what was it? I, I guess the uh, uh, 80s, late or early 80s, early 80s. This uh, band was founded by two brothers out of Texas and went real strong for decades, man, and was one of the greatest heavy metal bands and met a tragic, tragic end in the early 2000s when one of the brothers was murdered. So, Dom, I want to know who this band is covering the great Ted Nugent song, Cat Scratch Fever. Fever. We want to know the cover artist today, Dom. Take a listen. Well, I don't know where they come from, but they sure 
All right, name that band, and you're off to the uh, Zlock Performing Arts Center. Here's how you get in, 855-839-1210, AT&T, and Verizon Wireless. All you have to do is just push pound 1210. Six till ten. You can't play naked twister anymore when you grow up. Naked twister. Yeah. Oh, yes. Play it right, both people. Win. Nice work out of Robin. We might have to put that one on the board. <laughs> if our buddy Jim the floater is listening, get that on the board stat today. I'm gonna ask my apartment complex. They do all kinds of community things down in the lobby, wine tasting and Cinco de Mayo things. I'm like, can we do like an, an apartment naked twister night? Oh, that might. Yeah. There you go. Man. Bring your own booze. You don't keep score though on naked twister, do you? I don't know. Is it inclusive? <laughs> Start your day with Kale and Company. Weekday mornings, 6 till 10. On Talk Radio 1210, WPHT, and the free Odyssey app. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Dawn Stensland here. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want to do this spring. Just call my friends at QC Kinetics. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief. No surgery, no drugs, no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Now, this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk, run, climb stairs, play golf, move again, pain-free. No pain pills, no risky surgery. It's an all-natural solution. QC Kinetics has tens of thousands of satisfied patients who've reclaimed their mobility. Take action now. Do this. Live your best life this spring and summer. Great use of your tax refund check, by the way. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation. 215-999-3000. 215-999-3000. Tell Dawn sent you. Hi, this is Norman Chaikin, also known as Norman the Floorman. Every night, my wife calls me to dinner in the same way. Yells out, dinner's on the table. Come and guess it. Whether you need carpet, LVT, hardwood, tile, or area rugs for your residential or commercial project, we've got you covered. Savings up to 50%, and that ain't chopped liver. Visit us in Bryn Mawr, Conchahokan, or call us at 800-220-RUGS. For your home or business, and we'll bring the store to your door. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies, and we can probably help you too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. Hey, everyone. This is Brett Boone. Would you know it? I've got a podcast going strong in our fourth year. Tune in as I sit down with my friends, some of the biggest names in sports, media, entertainment, for a lot of fun and in-depth conversations. As you know, baseball's been my life. It's been in the family for a long time, but it's a lot more than that here. It's sort of like taking a ride in a golf cart around a beautiful track. Join me every week for multiple episodes on the Brett Boone Podcast, available on the Odyssey app, wherever you get your podcasts. Yo, yo, Roy is Ford. What? We know your favorite station is 1210 WPHD. It's the Money Melody. Show me the money. All right. That is uh, right. Hit us with um, your guest today. Let's hear the clue. Well, I don't know where they come from, but they sure do come. I hope they're coming for me. And I don't know how they do it, but they sure do it good. I hope they do it for free. They give me cat scratch fever. 
But down today, the side question we're asking for great famous siblings, either real or fictional. And the other clue was founded in 1981 by a set of siblings. Uh, this band faced a very sad, tragic ending when one of the two was murdered. All right, let's go to uh, Sheila in Harleysville. Hey, Sheila, good afternoon. Who's the band? Good afternoon. Um, thank you for letting me uh, talk. I believe it is Pantera. Wow, how did you know that, Sheila? That was... Oh, my years of listening to heavy metal. Oh, <laughs> female heavy metal listeners. That's kind of rare, don't you think, Dan? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure, Sheila, you know very well who it was that was murdered on stage by a deranged fan, right? Yes, I heard about that. I'm more of a Led Zeppelin girl, but uh, I did listen to that type of music, too. So There you go. <laughs> okay, good stuff. I'll put you on hold, Sheila. We'll get that uh, tickets to the Zlock Performing Arts Center, where we'll be tomorrow night with Rand Paul at, uh, well, 630. I think the bar opens, but, you know, we should be cruising around. And uh, I know Nick Kale, if you haven't met him yet, is going to introduce us. Maybe a little wrestling introduction there. You heard Ben Weingarten's question for uh, Rand Paul. I'll take them under advisement. Some listeners have submitted like eight questions, one guy. And, and look, he's very <laughs> enthusiastic. I appreciate that. I'll try to cull them down and mix them up with all the stuff that we have to get to tomorrow night. You just have to get your tickets and show up. 1210WPHT.com. 1210WPHT.com. All right, our... Uh, I mentioned early on, before I get to the side question here, I mentioned a little while ago that the Sherelle Parker um, administration is going to unveil, and we'll have her on next week, we think, their Kensington plan soon. It'll be a big deal. It'll make national news. But they are cracking down on the ATV people. So Dan, at approximately 7.15 p.m., says the Inquirer, near the Walt Whitman Bridge ramp, which you don't take that one, but around, you know, you might see them there. You've been involved in this before in South Philly. Mm -hmm. There was an ATV family. Uh, a, a family quad, of ATVs? A, a, a quad, baby ATV? Yes. In a sea of at least 50 ATVs. The quad stood out because it was emitting smoke, said police. So the officer followed the driver, who was clad in all black and a ski mask, of course. That's when the uh, police said the driver intentionally turned into the officer, causing him to crash and taking the opportunity to escape. In other words, he hit the officer. They found a quad that turned out not to be the right one in Frankfurt, uh, section of Philadelphia. Uh, the, uh, the inquirer says the stop goes wrong uh, as the department beefs up its ATV enforcement under the new mayoral administration. Inspector George Cap. I do have audio from George. Oh, OK. That. We'll get that in a second. The subject of ATVs and others, large groups of this critics uh, say this should be fine to perennial effort with new vigor. We'll see what Sherelle Parker does. I hope they hunt this. If they're willing to do this with the police, it's a lesson. What are they willing to do with you? turning and trying to run him over. It's lucky he didn't get shot. All right, here's what uh, Inspector George Capp said about On the this. Job. An officer signed to our ATV uh, initiative um, to combat the scourge of ATVs running rampant throughout scourge. the city um, was intentionally struck during the performance of his duties. It happened around 7.15 tonight by the Packer Avenue off-ramp on 95 North. The officer, who has been identified as a six-year veteran of the department, was taken to Jefferson University Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Philadelphia police say the suspect was later taken into custody, and the ATV he was riding was recovered on the 5100 block of Erdrich Street in Frankfurt. Where he was positively identified by a passerby uh, who uh, saw the incident happen and was able to identify the uh, ATV and the rider of the ATV. All right, the fines can ride up to $2,000. The bikes can be very expensive. There's an appeals process and all this. Um, there's a camp of ATV advocates calling for the creation of bike parks. Give me a break with this. Can, can we That's stop with this? That's such a dumb issue. Yes. It's just like, you know what they have down in South Philly? They have a skateboard park. These people don't want that. Part of it is the lawlessness of it. 
They want to stick it to you. They're starting to do it in the suburbs. That's what it's about. I, I just love the idea that we live in a city where if you build a bike park or an ATV they park, will come. Yes. That, that they're going to put it on trailers behind their trucks yes. or cars, drive right. down to the park. Like they're not, right. how, how do you think they're going to get to this park? There's, it's going to encourage more ATVs and dirt bikes as people are like, oh, wait, we can go ride it somewhere. Let's ride over to the park and, you know, enjoy yeah. it there. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just like the skateboarding nonsense that happened over at Love Park. That's they want to do what they want to do. Crack down on them. People are behind you. They don't have a constituency. Ratchet it up. Do it more and more and more. The cop could have shot this guy. He's coming at you. He can kill you. So we'll see. We'll see when they're ready to move on Kensington. All right. Side question today. All time siblings. Hit me with that. Let's go to um, Robert in Ben Salem. Hey, Robert, good afternoon. Hi, Dom. Dan, it's good to talk to you guys today. Um, just wanted to say Trump crushed it on his speech about abortion, also because he highlighted the radical list Democrats when it comes to this issue, which isn't said enough in the public forum. Um, I have a question real quick. Uh, what is the dress code for tomorrow night? Oh, Robert of Ben Salem's going to be there. Great question. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Big time. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, we, uh, make sure you come over. We'll make sure you get uh, a shot at least of the, as long as this bourbon lasts here, Robert. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Dan, what would you suggest uh, as the dress code? Well, this is what I plan on wearing, Robert. And Dom, uh, you tell uh, me if I'm uh, wrong uh, here. Uh, I'm going to wear a suit jacket with a... Uh, um, a, a nice shirt under it, so like a dress shirt under it, tucked into a pair of jeans with a brown belt and brown boots slash casual shoes that you'd see something like Brian Kilmeade wearing on Fox. <laughs> so I'm wearing, okay. I'm wearing a pair of dark jeans. I'm wearing a suit jacket with right. a – yeah, so I'm okay. kind of going half cash. Okay. All right. I got a good idea now. Um, My answer to the side question is – Vlad the Impaler, uh, the the um, inspiration for Dracula. I'm sure lots of people have heard of him. He was the ruler of Wallachia when the Ottoman Empire invaded. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is while his father and older brother were killed by the Ottomans, his younger brother, Radu III, who thought he had a claim to the throne, decided to help the Ottomans invade Wallachia. So it was brother against brother. It's a really complicated story. I didn't know it was so crazy down there, but it's uh, it was fascinating. And I want to go with Vlad and Radu the <laughs> Third. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Man. See you tomorrow Deep night. There. Vlad the Impaler, Dan. You know, Dom the Bloviator is what I want to be called tomorrow <laughs> night. Say hello, Dom the Bloviator. Dan loves those uh, black jeans. That's that's the. No, I'm not wearing black jeans. I'm wearing dark jeans, oh, like dark, dark jeans. blue jeans. Okay, yeah, I, I can't. Yeah. I can't because I got a blue suit jacket with. Yeah, stripes, you know? I, I see this is more hair. formal tomorrow night. Uh, you think my so? Role. My role. No, well, yeah, you're you're, you're, you're yeah, on stage. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 it would be a little bit uh, yeah. different. Yes, I have the casual elegance, but for Rand Paul, I think. How about like a button down and jeans? You think that's okay for a listener? Oh sure. Yeah, absolutely. Hawaiian shirts. Uh, yeah, I'm not, as long as it's not the, the, the pizza, nothing on the pizza that's a wine. Leisure Other suits? That, yes, please bring the green leisure suit. I might have a prize for you tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, chains, particularly. I uh, don't have my chain on me today. But what do you mean you don't not. have your? Oh, wow. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be visible. I don't. Is the South Philadelphia like like in yeah. Back to the Future when the family fades away in the picture? Is the South Philadelphia fading away from you without the? Chain that's on? right. Uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> All right, hit us with that all-time sibling group. Be ready for the debate part tomorrow. Thrilled, but Robert and Ben say I'm going to be there now. You got to come out tomorrow night. Twelve ten WPHT dot com. They released uh, twenty more tickets, so there should be nice space tomorrow night. It's a good space for Rand Paul. Uh, the sports calendar is loaded, and FanDuel, in partnership with Valley Forge Casino, is making it even more exciting to get in on the action because right now, new customers, you can get $200 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's 200 bucks you can use to bet the tourney, MLB, NBA, NHL, and so much more. Visit FanDuel.com slash Dom. Make that first bet a big win. FanDuel Sportsbook is the official partner of 1210 WPHT. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. You have to be 21 plus. President in Pennsylvania, first online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as non withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem 1 800 Gambler. 
Clouds will roll in overnight. We'll get down to 58. Coming up tomorrow, it's going to rain. we we'll still get up to around 71. And then on Friday, more rain's possible. High 64. Saturday, still kind of cloudy with a high of 60. But we'll be back up in the 70s by Sunday. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-403-5569 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-403-5569. That's 800-403-5569. What do you have to lose? Call 800-403-5569. Again, 800-403-5569. I'm Philomena, founder of Kin Apparel here in Philly. I love my natural hair, but not what hoodies and hats were doing to it. So I made my own satin line hoodies and created a business in the process. I've got big dreams and Chase for Business in Philly was like, all right, how do we get you there? Get financial guidance from bankers in your community and convenient digital tools all in one place. Learn more at chaseforbusiness.com. Make more of what's yours. Real customers compensated. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of DIC. Hi, it's Rich Zioli. I'm joined here today by my friend, the co-president and CEO of Cooper University Healthcare, the one and only Dr. Anthony Mazzarelli. Dr. Maz and I are here to tell you about our buddy, Dr. Mike Venaria. Not only is he my dentist, he's my family's dentist as well. And not sure if you knew this, he's Dr. Maz's dentist too. That's right, Rich. Dr. Mike Venaria is and has been my dentist also. And you know, doctors choosing doctors, that can be quite a selective process. And not only do I go to him, but for years, my sister sister and my niece and my nephew, the whole family goes. Well, it's no secret. We're all delighted by the care that Dr. Mike Venaria and his award-winning team provide, and you need to check him out. Whether you're looking for pediatric, general, cosmetic, implant dentistry, you don't need to look any further. Dr. Venaria's office does everything. Dr. Venaria's office also exceeds all CDC guidelines and has always maintained the strictest infection control, like their centralized UV sterilization of airflow, which is incredibly important to me. Locations are right over the bridge in Cinnamon and in Woodbury. Your perfect smile's waiting. Call 8567 8- 2020 or visit venariadental.com. Lose 20 to 40 plus pounds guaranteed with NJ Diet. NJ Diet uses DNA and blood work to help you lose weight and keep it off. Tune into their radio show Sundays at 2 or visit njdiet.com. Diana got some really bad news from the IRS. They said you owe quite a bit of money. They told me the possibilities of garnishing my wages, taking my house, taking my car. Diana found out about Optima Tax Relief. They've resolved over a billion dollars for their clients. Optima Tax saved my life. Call Optima now for a free consultation. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. Optima Tax Relief. For details, visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Weather sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Clouds will roll in overnight. We'll get down to 58. Coming up tomorrow, it's going to rain. We'll still get up to around 71. And then on Friday, more rain's possible. High 64. Saturday, still kind of cloudy with a high of 60. But we'll be back up in the 70s by Sunday. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured, the choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Broadcasting live from the Cherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. Talk Radio 1210, WPHT, and on the free Odyssey app. All right, uh, coming to your answer today on the side question with Dom, which is all-time sibling. It's National Sibling Day. It is with, oh, I see one that might be uh, very good. But first, Sheila Jackson Lee, who could have been the mayor of Houston, congresswoman from Texas, with the eclipse, Dan, she kept on trying to put her eclipse glasses on as she's looking at the sun. (laughs) And she said, why you can't look at the sun, but you can look at the moon. We're going to play you what she said, but it was very reminiscent of the great philosopher and congressman from Texas, Hank Johnson. Yeah, you'll get some Hank Johnson if you haven't heard it in a while. Here is Sheila Jackson Lee first. Provide unique light and energy 
so that you have the energy of the moon at night. And sometimes you've heard the word full moon. And sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out. This and is a, a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. What? what? And that's why the question, the question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? <laughs> Are the gases such that we could do oh that? Oh my gosh. You gases. The sun is a mighty powerful heat. Oh, and it's man. almost impossible to go near the sun. Almost impossible. The moon is more manageable. <laughs> and you will see uh, in a moment, or not a moment, you'll see in a couple of years that NASA is going back to the moon. Oh, God. I have to deal with the gases. The gases. The gases. The gas crisis will be solved. Hey, uh, Dan, the thing, uh, you know, should have... Wait, wait one second. She ought to quit Congress. She'd be perfect for The View. It's true. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here is Hank Johnson. Now, I don't know if that is as crazy in a duel of craziness. Here's Hank Johnson, a longtime congressman from Texas, asking the question about Guam tipping over into the ocean. I happen to know. I don't have that uh, figure with me, sir. I can certainly supply it to you if you'd like. Yeah, my, my fear is that... Uh... The whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and uh, and capsize. Uh, we don't anticipate that. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. the Guam population, I think, currently about 175,000. And again, with 8,000 Marines and their families, it's an addition of about 25,000 uh, more my God, can you imagine, Dan? And sometimes his... you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. Oh, my God. They're both long time, and they'll continue to be elected. Congress, can you imagine uh, people like Rand Paul, Dan, and some others, whether you agree with them or not, that are in Congress, and they have to deal with this kind of buffoonery. Imagine, Mr. Speaker, a world without balloons. This is your favorite. Or is it the midgets? It's the midgets in a cage fight. I think it is the best. I, I don't have that ready, though. Yeah, okay. All right. So that's Hank Johnson and uh, Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, she's perfect for the view. Tag her in. The midget will not win the fight. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Why? He just doesn't carry enough weight. To do so, um, but uh, if you put thirty midgets in with that giant, <laughs> oh my then God. the midgets have a chance. <laughs> what is going on? Is there? this where he said maybe I shouldn't be saying midgets? Oh yeah, he had to apologize for using the M yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. saying midgets here. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. So who's worse, these two or the people that vote for them? Last night I used an analogy that some find um, offensive, and I certainly uh, was not meaning to be offensive or use a derogatory term. Um, you know, everybody knows what the N word is. I had never heard of the M word, <laughs> uh, Representative Shankowski. The M word, Shankowski. But oh God. To my um, discovery, uh, just within the last 12 hours or so, uh, I have found that the use of the midget, uh, oh, me, use it again. The M word, <laughs> I, it just is no longer socially acceptable. Now, oh man, yeah. this guy. Congressman Shankowski, Sheila Jackson, leaf of the pack, <laughs> which is made up mostly of gases. <laughs> You know who, uh, by the way, has really going crazy uh, the last few days, the cuts you get from The View, Dan? Oh, yeah. Whoopi Goldberg is worse than uh, Joyless Joy now. She really has just lost. Yeah, what's going on with her? She just she... loves saying the Big Ten, uh, talking about the Ten Commandments. Yeah. You know, she's been worse. Sonny Hostin. Oh, knows. did you hear what she said today? No. Oh, wait, let me pull it for you real okay. quick. Okay. You're, you're, you're going to love this one, Dom. Let look at the, <laughs> take a look at the things that they're rolling back. Mm. Remember I said ages ago, you know, they, in their minds, they want to bring slavery back. Uh, there we they're go. okay right. with it because, you see, 
things change. You know, one of the good things about the Supreme Court. I can't take it anymore, but she goes on and tries to justify why she thinks Republicans oh. want to bring slavery back. And then when Joy was Joy interrupts and says, I don't think that's quite the, the case. But, you know, the one I go after, Dan, to tease Row is the newsreader, the Haynes woman. She, she has a poll. I have a poll here. It says they do want to bring slavery back. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Gary in Newtown. This might be a pretty good one. Hey, Gary, good afternoon. Hey, Doc, how are you? Great afternoon. Thank you. Uh, I I tried to get in on, on the call yesterday with who, who the melody, for the, the singer, for where the song was from. I think the answer was Hungary. Yes. But I was going to say Sasquatch for Dan's re- other part of his relative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gary, yeah. So shot. Ouch. And no, I, I mean it in the most endearing way, Dan. I'm sorry. Well, thank you, sir. So I can't imagine if the Wright brothers were never alive because the thought of taking three weeks to get over to Europe to go to Italy would be insane. Or how long would it take to get to California or Florida to go visit relatives? It's insane to me. Or Roland Wilbur or Wright brothers. Gotcha. Was he underwater today calling us know. or what? That I don't know. was a little. Could you imagine, though, to his point, though, could you imagine us selling, yeah. you know, Titanic tours overseas to Italy, yeah. the 13 day voyage across the sea? Uh, you had to ask Hank Johnson, you know what, Dan? The guy that I'd like to track down when he retires is that admiral that was sitting there having to say, well, we haven't considered it toppling over. And the, the M word refers <laughs> uh, to uh, a group of people, the little people. <laughs> Keeps on getting it deeper and deeper. Oh my God. The national representative then comes on with him. He has to apologize. And then he says, I didn't mean to say, and then he says it again. Oh man. Oh God. He's the all timer. He's the all time. You cannot top that man. Lightning round is next. Hey, I've told you about my friend, my dentist, board certified prostodontist. That's Dr. Robert Benz, especially all the infrastructure he has. And one thing he does that you don't see in other offices, whether it's a routine visit or a comprehensive multifaceted process, he and his staff, small thing, big thing, sit down with you and create a clear plan, explaining it step by step. Dan, I have to say, uh, when they gave me the plan, some of the plan, Maria, with the brushing of the teeth and the dental hygiene, I topped them, though, because I took out a pad and started writing down and adding things to you it. Had the yellow I note- like that. No, yes. You had the yellow notepad? I had to go down. to the car and get the yellow legal pad. <laughs> yes. So if you have questions, they love doing that. They want buy-in. They want you to feel part of the process because then you're going to solve any dental problem. And if you're finally ready to get that smile that you've been wanting, now's the time to call Dr. Robert Bentz, the Bentz Dental Group, the Bentz Difference. You'll see that. Make that appointment right now. Visit Bentz, B-E-N-T-Z, dentalgroup.com or call 610-272-6949. Again, this is unusual to take this time, this degree of it, to talk you through, to get your buy-in, to agree, and then to have a great outcome. 610-272-6949. Hi, this is Dom Giordano. We told you about it. It's here, our first ever Politics in Pikes. It kicks off April 11th, the Zlock Performing Arts Center on the campus of Bucks County Community College with who else? Dr. Rand Paul, the book, The Great COVID Cover-Up. This is Speaker Series with a Bar. That's right, beer, wine, cocktails. Do not be shut out. What a night this will be. Tickets, 1210WPHT.com. Go to 1210WPHT.com. Now, with the MLB app, you can get baseball your way. Pick your favorite team, your favorite players, and get customized highlights, stories, and breaking news right on your home feed. Follow the action with Game 10, where 3D replays add another dimension. Plus, notifications can keep you connected to every pitch, every hit, every game. The MLB app. Baseball, your way. Download it now for free from the App Store or Google Play. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trade parts used with permission. Hey, it's Rich. Is the only for a greener, healthier lawn. Call the lawn care company I've trusted for years, Natural Lawn of America. Natural Lawn has been creating green lawns quickly, more naturally, and with fewer weeds for over 35 years. Their certified specialists tailor their treatments to your lawn's specific needs, reducing the need for chemicals and creating a safer lawn for your family and pets. Time is running out on Natural Lawn's unbeatable offer, free seeding every year. Call 800-FREE-SEED or visit naturallawn.com. Natural Lawn of America, greener grass, fewer weeds, guaranteed. 
Wow, honey, have you seen the electric bill? Yeah, it's out of control. But have you heard of Navian tankless water heaters? Tankless? How does that even work? Well, instead of constantly heating and storing water, it only heats water when we need it. So much more efficient than our giant tank heater. That sounds great. Let's look into Navian. Already on it. Imagine all the hot water you need only when you need it. Bulky tanks are history. Navian high efficiency tankless is the future. Compact, wall hung units free up floor space, lower energy bills, longer life than tanks, and a 15 year warranty. Find out more at tanklessmadesimple.com. As an educator, Mr. Nelson's teachings are still being quoted in school. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Mr. Nelson taught hope. Everyone can rise above their circumstances if they are dedicated and passionate. And giving our best efforts. It's always impossible until it's done. Mr. Nelson Mandela's teachings not only united a nation, they inspire us today. Inspiration. Pass it on from PassItOn.com. Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. Free speech lives here. The time has come for the final test. Ah, uh, we usually call it the lightning round. All right, National Siblings Day. The Wright Brothers pretty good. Can it be top? Let's try the Earl of Tacconi. All right, Earl, welcome in. And who do you have today? Well, Dom, the reason I'm caller of the year is because I'm going to go and I'm going to tie the whole show together for you. I'm going to uh, give you an answer that is not re- uh, not the question that you asked. It's marginally related, so it's somewhat relevant, and it's outside the box. I'm going to go with uh, Bobby Darren and Nina Casoto, and you figure, well, what is it with uh, that yes. couple? Well, Bobby was uh, born um, um, and uh, grew up with his elder sister, and when he decided to run for politics at the age of 32, his mother went and told him that she wasn't his mother. The woman that he thought was his older sister, Nina, was actually his mother. He was raised by his grandmother. And he grew up in the same part of the country and at the same time as another man with the exact same story, and that was Jack Nicholson. Wow, that sounds like Paulie Walnuts in The Sopranos, if you remember. Very so she was an unweighed teenage mother, and she didn't have an abortion. She raised him, and that ties the rest of the show together. Huh. And now you know the rest of the story. All right, and Bobby <laughs> Darren right, was going to run for office? Yeah? Uh, when he was 32 years old, he was going to run for political office, and uh, his mother, who he thought was his sister, went and told him the whole story about how she was actually his mother, and she was an, un- an unwed teenage mother, and um, uh, that's how they um, how they ran the, um, yeah. the the family, I guess, scam. But uh, like I said, Jack Nicholson had the exact same thing, where he wow. uh, thought that his mother, his, his sister, was actually his mother. Good that's stuff. That I is outside that. the bat. No. Uh- Drew in Upper Darby with, uh, you know, a Phillies fan's point here, I think, is valid. Hey, Drew, how you doing? What do you have today? Hey, Dom, thanks. Thanks a lot. You know, this is also outside the box. But the franchise of the Philadelphia Phillies have always had the misfortune of having the lesser brother. For example, there was, there was George Brett. The Phillies had Ken Brett. That's right. There was, there was Greg Maddox. The Phillies had... Mike Maddox, there was uh, uh, Jason Giambi. The Phillies had his brother, uh, uh, something Giambi, yes. And also the there was Hank Aaron. The Phillies had Tommy Aaron. And I believe the Phillies also had a DiMaggio brother. So I call it the lesser brother. <laughs> uh, that is, wow. well, I'm bringing it down. That's impressive. Yeah. And you know what that is? That's a Phillies fan. We never, or... Philadelphia sports fans. We always look on the dark side, but it's true. By the way, <laughs> Vin, did, Vince DiMaggio did play for the Phillies too, yeah. What did uh, Jason Giambi do to break out of a hitting slump? Uh, there was something with underwear, wasn't yes, there? Yes, a thong. Yes. He either wore it when he was hot to stay hot, or he wore it to break out of the slump. Uh, Can you imagine odd, these yeah. guys? Can you imagine how superstitious they are hitting a baseball? God. All right, one more here. Uh, let's try. It's a pretty uh, good one. Tony in uh, Delco. Tony, who do you have today? Oh, I was about to change my answer, but I guess since you said it's a pretty good one, I'll stick with it. Well, tell me uh, which we're going to change to. I shouldn't have, uh, you know. Uh, That's okay. That's okay. Okay. I was going to change my answer to the Koch brothers. Oh, pretty good. But what do you have? Yeah. But what I have is Eddie and Alex Van Halen, which when you started your music melody, I was thinking, oh, brothers in the 80s. Hmm. It's got to be Van Halen. That's my answer. That's a good one. That's a good so, one. Yeah. 
Very good one. Uh, Greg would like that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he's going to release 50 tickets now. He likes that answer. 1210 so, WPHD, Rand Paul. Yeah. Man. yeah, more tickets released. Is, uh, yeah. 20 tickets Van Halen have been reference. released. You'll be, you'll be right behind. There's a balcony there. You'll be right behind Rand Paul. We're working on that. People are from the rafters now, Dan. Uh, let me take one more quickie here. This is uh, a famous one. Bill, what's yours? Uh, Dom, mine's the Fighting Sullivans, the five brothers in World War II. They were all on the same ship. The ship went down, and they all died, and that made the rule that uh, siblings could not uh, serve together on a ship. And they also just came out with the USS the Sullivans. Yes. Wow. That, that is a great one. I don't know. if I think it was another group of brothers was uh, Finding Private Ryan, obviously Ryan, but the Sullivans are apropos of that. Imagine, Dan, five of them. All right, Dan, we got our work cut out here in the next the 35 Nyland seconds. The brothers were the ones saving Private Ryan. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, Dom, I, I thought uh, Tony and Delco, Eddie and Van, Alex Van Halen, a little yeah. Greg favoritism. I'll throw that one in there. But the best one, in my opinion, was Drew and Upper Darby with the Phillies always having the lesser sibling, Mike Maddox, Jeremy Giammi, uh, Tommy Aaron, Vince DiMaggio. Yeah, if he had come up with just one, I would say, eh, maybe the Wright brothers. But he had like four or five of them. That's true. That's exactly right. All right, Drew and Upper Darby, your name goes into the hat. Don't forget, tomorrow night, Rand Paul over there in Bucks County. Get your tickets by going to 1210WPHT.com. And come however you want to dress. Don't follow Dan's lead there. We'll, we'll take a lot of pictures, though. <laughs> and Robert of Ben Salem there. Richie always next. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Shiny machine. Got the feel for the world. The Although you try not to, most of us have used an ATM out of network and at the end you get that notice that it's going to cost you four dollars extra are you kidding me so you're paying money to get your own money it makes you crazy in retirement you're going to want to use that 401k but every time you dip into it you have to pay taxes here we go again you have to pay money to get your own money oh, come on. jim cipriati and the retire ready financial group believes that every retirement plan needs a tax plan without it you're using uncle sam's plan and do you really think that's going to work in your favor? Call Retire Ready Financial Group today.